Good day and welcome. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching. Um, today I'm going to be playing the SnowRunner again. Last time I just got uh, the Tuz, so that was exciting. And I, I was kind of wrapping up a little bit of cleanup here and there. And I moved on to Alaska. So there's lots of options of things I can do. So, uh, you know, I'll kind of find some adventures today, I think. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun game. It's kind of like Ice Road Truckers. You know, you do recovery missions. You bring stuff to, you know, hard to get to locations. You know, lots of, you know, digging through the mud and winching uh, yourself to trees to keep your, your, your truck moving. It's a pretty fun game. But thank you for joining me. If uh, if you can, I'd appreciate if you can uh, uh, please like, you know, share and uh, and follow, of course. And uh, if um, you want, you can also type exclamation notify to be alerted when I go live. So I am just going to type something real quick. Just make sure the quality looks okay, and then um, and then I'll go and press that start button. So thank you so much for being here and uh, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. So let's make sure that that works. I'll pin that, and I'll just load up a screen just so I can see. You know, I like to, you know, make sure the quality looks to my expectation by the way you can see in my um video description there's links to my twitter and youtube and stuff like that i did add a couple of youtube clips of uh kind of fun moments well you know 10 10 12 minutes uh per video um and i'll be adding some more tonight and tomorrow as well so uh you know yeah kind of you know quick Flash of the videos is not quite as good quality as the, uh, the videos, but uh, they're on Facebook. But it's a quick way to see something cool, and then you can always watch back the uh, the video on demand if you like on uh, on Facebook itself. So thank you, Monica, for following, and I hope you're having a good day. And let's get started. So if you uh, want to check out. Uh, this game, it's it's this is on Xbox, but I think it's on PC as well. Um, I'll start it in co-op mode because uh, Black Falcon, House of Hydra, some other streamers join me sometimes. Um, and then of course, um, they, you can have up to three other players join you, which is kind of a cool thing about this game. I like that. You know, sometimes it's really tough. Uh, you get flipped on your side. You know, if you're by yourself, you got to bring out another vehicle. Um, fortunately, with uh, a co-op buddy, sometimes you can use them as an escort vehicle, or they can tip you right, right back up. There's some clips I have in my YouTube and past streams that it's crazy. You know, like have this big smashing accident and have to recover a trailer from a ravine. Or something like that and you know it's it's like an adventure in itself trying to recover your your stuff out of there you can you can send your vehicle back to the garage but some you know the load and cargo you don't want to necessarily redo two hours of hauling but then again sometimes it takes two hours to recover that trailer out of there so but yeah last time I was playing I got this vehicle pretty sweet eh? it's like a Almost like a tank without a gun, you know, an ATV. So, uh, you know, if we go bring this one out. I'm just in this this area right now. Um, I was going to see if I can get that achievement. There's one last art somewhere here on these this set of maps. Yay, yay. Thank you for the follow. Good day. I'm not sure where that last part is on one of these maps there's a few missions you could still do here though so you could recover these drilling parts um and this is even having completed the major missions on this particular map and 
you know, there's a few trailers laying around that I can recover and get some money for. And here's like a missing machinery thing. That's probably the, the drilling parts. There's this riverside repair, which you go and you uh, go to these different pumps and stuff like that. Bipolar, thank you for liking the stream. Good day to you. Um, not sure. Let's see if we can figure out where that map is. You can see there, here's the different maps. You can go to Alaska, to Russia. They're adding Canada, which is kind of cool, in a DLC in the near future. Um, I haven't lo unlocked a lot of uh, Alaska. I did reveal a couple maps to get that Tuz that I'm driving here. But, um, we'll, we'll just see about if we can find where this extra part is yet here. You know, I've uncovered most of the map. I just looked at this one. Global map. Look in here. There's an upgrade right there. So if I can get to here, there's no garage from the looks of it in this area. So I got to drive um, into that area. So it looks like I got to go from Smithfield Dam. And I'm in Black River right now. I think the Tuz is a good vehicle to pick for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to recover back to the garage. I will retain it. Go to my global map. Jump to the dam. And then you just flip down and you go to the garage. Right there. That changes the map. And then I'm going to go get that, that upgrade part because there's an achievement for getting all the upgrades on this map. So gonna grab that wrap up a couple of things here and then probably jump over to Alaska again um, and then start doing missions there like the main mission so let's go back to my truck storage this is here because I did retain it and we'll leave there's nothing better this thing can you know literally drive through everywhere and don't really need to go there. Tools delivery. See if I went and I want to look at that map or that. There's only contest, so it looks like you got to bring those tools from the other screen to this this area. But what I want to do, is I'm gonna to go to global map. Look on Drummond Island. That's where the upgrade is. So I got to go to gateway to that one, Island Lake. It's almost by Island Lake, but we go to Smithfield Dam Gateway and we'll be able to get down there, I think. Long haul, but um, hopefully we can have enough gas to get there. Um, global map again. Smithfield Dam, Island Lake, where we want to go. Where is it? No, it's Drummond Island. So it's way over here. There's a trailer store. All right. Got to figure out which way we're driving, you know, be, be efficient, you know. So essentially, I'm going to go out here. I go over here, going a left, hopefully the Tuz is fuel efficient enough for this that I can get all the way there because I can't really grab those trailers that easily. Drummond Island is up there. We're figuring this way, I think. Doesn't matter what way I go with this guy, because this thing can really drive through anything. So we don't want to spend too much time in the bush or the mud because it slows you down, uses up gas. And we'll go up here. 
up there doing a little bit of a shortcut but that'll take our way now this is like hyper sim so you gotta turn off your brakes you know you gotta turn on your lights daytime right now so we don't have to worry too much about the lights this thing isn't a fast vehicle but I mean it can really go through anything unfortunately it can't pull trailers directly but you know that's how it goes sometimes give and take right see you know I still can't drive straight despite driving slow but we'll do it we'll get somewhere if you have any questions feel free to shoot by the way also hit that like follow and share if you can it'd be appreciated and uh, if you choose if you really like what what I offer you know there's options for supporting as well you can um, decide to support in different ways but even you being here is supporting so that's awesome you know I just enjoy the company and you don't even have to talk for me to enjoy your company but you know if you want to talk that's that's great and of course uh, um, you know whatever way you want to support me that's cool man so there we go hello bro Lango, how are you today thank you for liking the stream have you seen this game before it's pretty fun look at this beast of a vehicle I got eh get you that thing would fetch a couple bucks at the car dealership eh so I'm trying to go get an upgrade from the other map take me a bit to get there because it's like two maps away but demonstrates this vehicle I made it nice and yellow I figured you know I looked up the stats on colors of vehicle and then he said white is the most common car on the road these days they aren't talking about these kind of vehicles but white's the most common I think it was like tan is the second most common thank you for sharing the stream and yellow was one of the more uncommon colors so I made my vehicle yellow they also say Jose thank you for the follow nice to see ya Mr. Rod um but yeah I, 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 I looked that up and I guess too they also said in the thing that you have a red car you're more likely to get pulled over too by the police because they're more likely to notice you right away so I don't know if that part is true or not but kind of interesting the uh oh yeah this vehicle though I was so happy to get it that I made the clip of getting it because it was literally down the three liters of gas on my vehicle to get this thing I had to go three maps to get it and you have to get cl close enough to change into the vehicle and man three liters I was so close I thought I was gonna so run out of gas before that but fortunately you know spoiler alert I did get it I mean you know I'm driving it right now right but as far as it goes uh, man I it got came down to the wire so if you ever want to check out my YouTube video you know feel free to check out my YouTube page I got clips of you know about 20 Facebook you know Try to cut it down uh, to little bite-sized pieces rather than the you know some some of these streams are eight nine hours. Um, but yeah, that was a crazy, crazy mission because you know there's so much, and often what can go wrong goes wrong in this game too. So you know we'll see what happens with even what I'm doing right now this is like a self made mission but there is actual missions in this game but I want to get that upgrade because any upgrade you get is good but this vehicle though it's it's tough as nails though look at that thing eh I don't know if you can actually even get these things it looks like an army vehicle to me oh we gotta go up the hill I think I plotted the map Thursday. Would uh, 
Would have missed my turn. Turn on the lights here. Pretty. See, I found a way to drift into a tree. Didn't take any damage though, because I didn't hit it. Yeah, some of the vehicles, though, you, you know, they can't drive through all the crap like this one can. So, you know, you, know, you wind up getting stuck a lot in this game. You have Game Pass, though, the game that this one is a sequel to. It's called Mudrunner, and that one's on Game Pass. And there's a mobile version as well of Mudrunner. Not quite the same, but, I mean, you know, give you some of the same experience, probably. I haven't played that one, actually. But I heard that it's kind of like a more bare bones version of this one. All right, looks like we got to figure out a route. Go this way. There we go. Down the hill. All right. We're making her, making her, we're breaking her. What I should do is before other co-op players start joining me is I should go do the checkpoints for as many maps as I can. Or not the checkpoints, the towers, because these towers kick people out of the game in this. Hopefully they fix that. Because, you know, some of the guys got pretty frustrated in the Tuz, Tuz recovery op. Um... When I'd go and I'd hit a tower because I needed to hit the tower. And then all of a sudden everybody gets booted from the lobby. The one place we don't want to go is in the middle of the lake here, but other than that, this thing is pretty, pretty efficient. See that? Even if I flip on my side, I got like a a winch that is autonomous. Oh, if uh, this map, this road looks very accurate here. I don't actually see a road. Here we go, we're turning up though. Maybe there was no road there, but I'll make my own road. I'm driving a big yellow machine here. Oh crap, what I hit there, eh? It bounced me around. Not the most fuel efficient beast, is it? Gonna get that upgrade yet, though. I don't know what it is. Hopefully, it's not something that sucks. Alright. We're gonna make her, man. Make her. It'd be probably pretty wild to drive a vehicle like this, though, eh? You wouldn't be afraid of nothing. Of course, you know, even in this game, I've got to use a couple of friends of mine's versions of these vehicles. Oops, I found a trailer I accidentally put in the way. And then I smashed into it a bit. Go around it. Get out of the way, trailer. Here, I'll just drive straight back and do it. All right, we're in Drummond Island. Part one. Towards the quest of obtaining my part that I want. That's middle of the bush. John, thank you for liking the stream. Look at those guitar riffs, eh? I think I got a trailer on each side of this thing. What the heck? Okay, we're gonna map out to where I'm going. 
The upgrade is over there. I don't know if I can actually reverse that water. And this is the edge of the map. So I'm going to probably have to take the, the main road here. That bridge is intact, so I'm just going to map the main road for now. Well, the dirt roads are, aren't as obvious, but sometimes, but these look like pretty mainish dirt roads. I bet you we can cross there, but Bill, thank you for liking the stream. But heck, I mean, we can probably drive anywhere. What kind of vehicle is this one? Service trailer. Um, lots of trailers and stuff here, eh? Fuel storage. There's a big fuel trailer there. Looks like fuel carrier. I don't know if I need if I need fuel, but I might as well go past it, hey? Just in case. I don't know. Go this way and we'll kind of get an idea where our gas is at. This area hasn't even really been explored yet, eh? Doesn't look very, very friendly. But I mean, I could probably take this shortcut. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we cross this river. If uh, we need to veer left to the fuel station. Of course, the exciting part, eh? You get to plot out part, parts of the map. I mean, who doesn't like that? over here and if we can cut through the forest there or not but go up here less resistance the better right and we'll go down here there's some sort of thing here that's where we're headed Turn the lights again. Turn off the brake. And we're hitting the road. If you're new, welcome by the way, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. May we be successful in maneuvering this giant beast. I don't see why we wouldn't be. Just haul every trailer to the edge of the map. I want to hit these guardrails, man. They, they don't take no crap. You know, you... Even this tank stuck on those things. Oh, I almost lost my mirror. I went to a car wash today. Um... And they folded my mirrors in. I thought it was weird. Like they taped the wiper down. It was like all the car wa uh, auto spa. And it was like trying it out. It was a new, new uh, business in my area. So I figured I'd see what it was like. It just felt like any other automated car wash, to be honest. But, you know, they, they weren't. I guess they weren't leaving themselves liable for anything. They fold the mirrors in because every all this different automated car wash stuff whips around on your car and they don't want to bust your mirrors. I wonder if uh, somebody got a mirror broken and that's why they started doing that or they're just not taking any chances. Auto car, or car wa automatic car washes are kind of cool. That one is the longer one than most of them, but I think it's kind of fun to try out. 
around this pole, you know. I think it doesn't have a fast turning radius, apparently. But, uh... That's how it goes. Joey, thank you for liking the stream! We're on our way to get some upgrade parts here in the middle of the bush. Everybody's wondering what the heck, eh? Driving this big beast to do it, but it'd be easier to use this thing than in the own Jerry, thank you for the follow and good day. Welcome. I hope that your things are going great. Virginia, nice. Thank you, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, I'm in British Columbia here. Hey, Justin, how are you? I was just uh, recovering an upgrade part before I jumped into Alaska. Figured I'd grab an achievement. Thank you for liking the stream. Look at this sweet vehicle I got now. I don't know if you saw the highlight of me grabbing it, but I have the party made if anybody such as yourself and Hydro want to join. Now that I got this beast, man, nothing's going to stop me from getting that upgrade, though, I tell you. And I, I, I ain't going to get stuck. I've been added the autonomous winch. Good, thank you. Look at that, eh? Oh, got a dangerous water level. I painted a yellow. Because that's cool. You haven't see, haven't had the motivation to get up and stream? Well you don't have to stream if you wanna if you wanna play, you don't have to stream. No rule that you have to stream. You just can sit back and relax. If you like, you know. Everybody needs a break once in a while, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that, I tell ya. Oh crap, 104 damage. Barely nicked that rock. All right. It is true, I know. See, I know what I'm talking about. You know, you just kick back, relax, you know, that lowers your pressure because you're not worrying about you know having to talk and so much you know Just sit back and enjoy the games you enjoy look at that hey eh? we're getting close Close to that upgrade. I don't know what it is. We're gonna find out right away. Look at that. We got lots of gas left too. I should pull the trailer back with me. What is it? Not available in the current truck. White Western Star. There's a lot of Western Stars. Sounds good to me. Achievement! Here's the achievement I was telling everybody about at the beginning. Anything up here while I'm up here? Trailer right here. That. Sideboard trailer. Tourist attraction. Alright, let's go. Grab the trailer on the way out. If 
Western Star makes a good truck. That's good. Good to hear, man. What's your favorite kind of real life truck? Like if you were gonna go buy a brand new truck today, what would you what would you go after? Yeah, and, uh, you know you didn't have to worry about the budget so much, Debbie. I'd go get a cyber truck. I didn't have to worry about the budget. But, you know, just because they look like they're from Mad Max. It's motivation enough for me. Plus, I wouldn't have to gas up again. But, uh, devs are, are cool. Are those the ones with Like a Rock commercials? It has some good stats. Plus, it looks like it's from Mad Max. I mean, come on. Talk about futuristic. Although, you have to worry about people, like, handling your car when you have a Tesla, because people are jerks. Where's this trailer I spotted on the map? There it is. I think a Tesla would be pretty cool. I mean, just even just because they have a Tesla, I mean, you know, that's part of the fun. All right, we've got to figure out where we're going with this thing now. So I should probably take it over here. At least get that trailer closer, you know. Where the heck am I anyway? I'm Go this way. Kind of vaguely outline my route. Probably can go across this, I imagine. Maybe not. Oh, cross that or not. You can cross this area though for sure. Tesla yeah, there's a Tesla semi. Like the the driver goes in the middle. Um Apparently they ordered a whole bunch fleet of them for some some businesses already. What's this thing? Service trailer. We spend ten hours grabbing trailers, eh? Although, you know, like all that autopiloting that all these things have, I don't think they allow that in Canada. Yet, anyway. Did you ever figure out what was happening in your yard there? Did you go look out there today in the light? Hopefully, wasn't anything missing on you. I got my little spare gas can, so I don't think I necessarily need to fill, fuel up. All the trailer in, what trailer a day keeps the doctor away. Did you lose anything though? There's buggers, eh? Yeah, I kind of keep things locked up here, but... 
I don't know about... how much conflict I'd ever want to get into if I ran into somebody. <laughs> Tell them to take a hike. I think most people don't want to have a conflict when you're there at your house. In uh, my city, they had uh, one kid was drunk when I went to a grad party, I guess. And then the crap this thing's gonna beat me there um we went to a grad party i guess and uh the he kind of wandered onto a driveway because he thought it was a different house or something and the owner had a couple break-ins previously and went out with his baseball bat it ran away but the owner chased him like a block and then beat the crap out of him and put him into a coma yeah, that's what his name was. Like, that was a crazy story. I don't know if they ever sentenced that owner. Oh, you knew him, really? Well, that's what I read the story was, anyway. And then, uh... You know, and it's crazy that, you know, that he would, you know, just for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know that guy too? Oh, really? Well, it's not surprising, but he, uh, I mean, who does that, you know? Um, you know, that's, that's excessive, you know, once that guy's off your property, you know, you're not defending your, your stuff anymore. Not that you should, you know, put a guy into a coma for, even if he was stealing anything. Seems kind of outrageous to me. Yeah, and you know, it's not like, you know, I'm sure if you're catching somebody, you don't have to um, go that hard either, you know? I mean, you could probably just, you know, Pin him down like the guy looked like he was quite a bit bigger and then you could uh, you know call the police or something or have your wife call the police or something and then you know they'd come pick him up and no no harm done he's probably just like you know that, I think that's what a lot of people don't understand is you know that we're defending him uh, defending the guy with the bat is that, you know, you don't have to go that far. But, and, you know, for that matter, it's, that guy was so small in comparison to him from the looks of it. That guy that caved someone's head in, yeah. No doubt, eh? Kind of weird you knew both of them, eh? Kind of probably creepy feeling for you when you read that story, I bet. It's not weird that you knew both, but, I mean, uh, I imagine that would probably was quite a shock. It was shocking just reading the story and I didn't know either of them. You know everyone. Well, there you go. You get around town in a brown car, it's round. You ever hear that song? That like kids in the hall? Yeah. There's a lot of messed up things though. For sure. I'm glad you didn't have to get into a situation where you had to, you know, confront anybody directly though. Kind of dangerous, you know. You gotta can't tether both of these trailers, eh? A lot of stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, oh, there's all sorts of incidences.
Not too far away, I was playing Call of Duty one day. Um, and I, I looked out the window and there's like SWAT all over the street. I guess they were, uh, um, dealing with somebody that was taking an ex hostage a few houses away from me. I guess they had knocked on my door, but I didn't hear them, but they had evacuated most people. And I, so I watched out of my window as they busted the front window and threw a tear gas grenade into uh, to that house. That was a few years back now, I guess. There's another one too where a relative of mine um, was watching uh, events unfold of another similar incident except the guy blew up the house and, with himself in it. Aiden, thank you for liking the stream. I can't sell this trailer, I don't think, because it's not really attached. But, you know, we can put it in the trailer store lot for next time. Here's what they get for not serving me. I'll just jump drive through their fence. Yeah, there's a... I guess the guy, it was like for that guy that blew himself up, it was uh, something related to, uh, you know, a co worker or something that he had a crush on. Got to get a truck out here to. But they're all different kinds of trailers, eh? Turn it around, man. Put this trailer over there. Yeah, I've lived at a few different places. Thought I had to come to Barrier because it's back to back hostage no I didn't hear about that one people are nuts man we get together on those Facebook groups or reddit groups or whatever it is and then they have like-minded people and then they get even more nuts too. That's how all these weird uh, groups strengthen themselves because then, you know, there's somebody kind of, you know, has the same ideas as them and that kind of reinforces it. Mob mentality, yeah, that's right that way. Holy cap, those guys fixed that fence? Oh no, they didn't. Oh, took more of the fence out. Trailer store. Gonna look like a trailer parking lot shortly. There's another trailer just on the other side of this 
explode spot. There we go. See, I didn't even have to mark out the map. The tire's broken, eh? A little bit. Just from hitting that one rock. You know, here's the fun part. You get that little guitar riff when you change, change spots. Are there any other good vehicles I should look for in these areas while I'm out here? I don't find enough gas to really go anywhere, but... I have six, that's right. That's why those truckers, you always see them with a one wreck tire, eh? Hey, where'd that trailer go? It was kind of overlapping two maps, I guess, eh? See what's out here. There's a fuel carrier. Look at all these trailers, man. Lost delivery. Fuel station. What's the flag? Silent Observer, what's that? Drilling spare parts. They say what it is, eh? Looks fun. Another tourist attraction. What are these little tourist flags? Island Observer. All right, let's go over here. Mine's all. Am I going to? I can go to Alaska. I just I didn't have anybody in the game, so I was just messing about. I'm just thinking I was gonna grab this closed trailer, but then distracted by stuff, I guess. There are flags in the middle of nowhere. What are they doing though? Maybe I should just before I go to Alaska, maybe I should just grab one more trailer and throw it a trailer lot. Not that far away. Do you do anything with them? What what exactly are they? And you know, I bet you to get all the achievements in this game, it's pretty actually kind of brutal. I'm down to 76 liters. Observation points. Oh. Does it reveal anything? I suppose I could drive by and look at one while I'm there, but... Where are they anyway? Drive by it already? Doesn't do anything, gives you an achievement. I made two more videos and put them up on uh, the YouTube page, by the way, guys. Anybody that's interested in that. Don't recall. Oh. You got all the achievements in this game yet? That's kind of probably a big goal, I think. I think it would be a toughie. You drive through this tree? Probably not, eh? Oh, 
Look at that, got st a star. 30 stars for that. I think we're backwards on it, though. Sounds like uh, when I play hockey. I listen to my headset. Going this way. This farmer's gonna be running out. What the heck? This giant thing taking my wood trailer away. Yeah, can you think of anything I should highlight from yesterday? I'm thinking we had that goal win when I was goalie. That might have some interesting ones in it. Okay, we gotta back to the main road here. Take a trailer, get it ready. Ready for extraction. A little fuzzy. Crap off, tree. Crap, what the heck? Can't go anywhere now. Guy's really playing his radio loud, eh? that the crap eh I think I bought that autonomous winch so that trailer comes through with me oh I lost the load though oh you can't sell the load anyway Gonna be some wood in the bush. Home with its friends. It's home with its friends. What am I having a race with it? Gonna pass me. We'll get it to the trailer store and then I think I'll jump to Alaska. North to Alaska. It'll be a payday if I ever bring a truck out there, man. I'll have to bring a couple trucks out there. Do a couple trailer runs here and there, and I'll be rich as crap. Wow, wow. If you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me today.
hit that like that share that follow that'd be appreciated because it's cool to like share and follow then you can type exclamation notify to be alerted when I go live as well everybody likes that you know then it could be on your Facebook feed once in a while or something it might be fun Bow, 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 bow. I bet the Tuz doesn't have a thing where you can sell the trailers, eh? That'd be a cool attachment to add. I can't remember where that trailer store is. There, isn't it? Yeah, right. Whoa! Took my eyes off for one second. Oh crap! There was one of my tires. All right, we're here. We're here at Trailer Fest. Roll right into place there, trailer. And everybody has the radio cranked in the middle of the bush, eh? You notice that in real life? Quite good enough. Global map. North to Alaska. Yeah, okay, I've uncovered this map. Usually we don't do that. <laughs> you don't crank the music? You crank the music when you're playing streaming. I mean, that's probably what they're doing is they're probably streaming in their garages. They just don't want to come out. That's why no one's ever outside in SnowRunner. Don't fall. Oops. North to Alaska. All right. Where's the garage? I guess I should start doing these Stonefall maps. Are you going to join the game and clear some of this stuff with me? Are you just in kicking back and enjoying watching? All good, you know. Don't matter. Until I get stuck, then I get, then I get stuck. You're listening. Stuff to break. There you go, eh? <sighs> there aren't many accidents involving trucks. Only 500,000 a year. Got it pretty well. You can just kick back and relax for a while. If you feel better, you can always join in later if you like. I'll pick the Taz out and I'll just kind of scout out what I need to scout out here to start. And then figure out what needs to happen. Bridge repair. What do we need here? Metal beams. I could probably do that. There's an abandoned prize in the supplies in the water there. All right. Well, we can get metal beams. I wish I told you what kind of truck you needed. There's a trailer store there, but metal beams a long one, do you know? Maybe I'll move this out of the way for now. We don't even need to turn off the brakes. Alaska is a tough one. That's okay. Two spots. I don't know how big these trailers are. 
That two spots is a normal thing, though, isn't it? There's a metal bridge here, too, eh? That one's not done. It wants me to bring stuff out there, too, right? Oh, wait, that's probably the middle beams I gotta bring out. To the metal bridge, yeah, okay. Flat deck can carry one metal beam. There you go. Okay, thank you for the follow. Good day. Welcome. Okay, I'm going to go back to the, the garage. So many things right now, so i got to find it. And I'll go get my... Oh, I have this one as a gas truck right now, but I can change that. Customize. There's the flatbed. I don't like having that little crane on it though, because I think it looks cooler. It's a loading crane. Hey, what happened to that thicker thing? What the heck? Go. Loading crane on it too. Angelita, thank you for the follow. Good day. Can I? Is this one of those trucks that I could do the upgrades on? High range. Okay, I can't. Oh, I can't. That one's locked still. Look how that makes it go up, though. That's pretty cool. Are we getting new tires? What do we recommend for tires here? Any of these good, oh, these good ones here? I can get all sorts of tires, eh? Do I have any money? I couldn't tell you what would be beneficial to me here. You think I should change any of my tires? Flat deck. Oh, can carry one metal beam. That's right. Do I change the off road tires? Where does it say what they do? On road average. On road excellent. Good, good. Mud. Mud good and off-road excellent. These ones are excellent, excellent. Or on-road, though. This one's excellent, average, good, excellent. Hey, ice. It can do ice, too. Average, good, excellent. Look at all these choices, eh? What would be the benefit to having anything that's not excellent, excellent, excellent like that? Does it just use up a lot of gas or what? I don't see any differences between them. I don't know why you'd go for two when three is available, though. Oh, wait. HD. Average, excellent, good. These are all average, excellent, good. 
I'm, am I missing the differences like here uh, as the the different why you'd go for anything else here like wh what's the difference between OHD one and two and all that stuff the heck eh these chain ones looking better though those are OHD twos all chains good for mud I guess if you're going on ice you need that but Off-road excellent and mud good. See, I don't see why if it's good on mud. Average mud, off-road good, on-road good. Okay, so definitely highway sucks. Don't want poor nothing. Off road jumps up to excellent. Excellent and good. Falcon disappeared on me here. You bugger. <laughs> Just kidding. I think that chain looks good because you got mud good and you got off road excellent. It seems like it'd probably be a good thing to be excellent. Excellent, good, excellent. excellent average. And this is the higher model. I don't see a single other stat changing though. So maybe we'll go for that one. There we go, we'll put chain chains on. Probably put a roof rack on too, right? Or snorkel. Spare wheels. See look at we can get a spare wheel. Probably good to have. We can get an extended medium. Sounds like a good thing. We're just rack. We're gonna have a supercar here. Suspension. Tires. We change the tires. The winch. The spare wheel now there's no no roof rack here though all right we're ready we're ready to rock and roll man it's snowy out here so it's good to have chains anyway i think all right where were we going again want to repair the bridge got to get the metal beams from up there Obviously, we're heading right. I think we want to go over here. Phoenix group. And we might as well grab this mission on the way through so we have it. Oh, it looks like it's going to be crappy right there, though. We're going up there. We'll have to figure our way through this, probably. Need the steel beams, man. 
Another mission. Got our new souped up truck. Yeah, I'm carrying a sign with me. Oh, not anymore. Seems like average driving with these new tires on the road here. I remember driving home one time from uh, somewhere and there, you could barely see the highway. That was crazy. Really poor conditions that day. Oh yeah, we got like crap in the way. How the heck do you get past this? There's an upgrade in the bush there, eh? Alright, we gotta figure out a way past this. Hopefully there's a repair mission for that later. Weak under this somewhere. Let me get through up here. Well, not right on the bowl, but... Ethan, thank you for the follow. I'm too tall. Find a spot where that'll fit underneath. That can almost fit underneath there, maybe. That might be, eh? Right there. There's a little trail there, even. First, the Dum Dums built the pipe right in the way, eh? Where's this trail go? Sort of goes. That actually a trail? We get stuck, eh? Take our own trail. There we go. Found the tree. Crap. I found a good way to get stuck, apparently. We'll hook to that log, I guess. What the heck? Oh, I was stuck in that wood. Going this way. We've got good tires now, man, with chains. Put them on.
probably this way. All right. By the way, anybody is new, welcome. Thank you for being here. Hope your day is great. Hit that follow, that like, that share would be appreciated. Spread the word for me. Kick back and relax. You don't have to talk or anything. I don't care. Do you want to talk? That's good too, though. Don't mind. Look at I found a square. Rocks to go ball. What do we got to do for that? Of course there's a stupid rock in the way. What the heck, eh? Alright. What do we got to do for that one? That one's metal beams too. Well, fortunately we're going there anyway. Got to... Bring a couple of metal beams, I guess. Man, after you dry that tuz. We're gonna fix all the stuff here because we're good at fixing stuff. Oh, crap. We're good at breaking stuff too. Everybody. Oh. Going to left. A time trial there or some kind. Right, there's a gas station here. Me? Yep. What's this thing? Oil tank delivery. focus on clearing the road first, I guess. Take a run at it and then we will get through, eh? We could use some, um, uh... I mean, if somebody was driving like a little Honda or something through, they wouldn't make it. It's kind of gross here, eh? Like, holy crap. When you get these new maps, it's like, uh, you want to kind of make the routes easier, I think, first. And then you want to start doing the main missions after that.
Go right through the fence. Oh crap. Bad spot to go through the fence. Another lost trailer mission. Okay, let's determine something here. So, the places I want to go to... We gotta bring... steel beams there. Gotta go to the bridge over there. So maybe what I should do is I should buy a trailer here. And then pull a trailer with it too. I can get both. We want a flatbed trailer. Probably good enough for. We don't need a big one. Sideboard trailer, maybe, eh? And they can this thing can pull a big trailer. We just need and I can haul two though. One can haul two. We need metal beams. And then I think for the other one we need Metal beams as well. I'm not even on the right mission. Bridge repair, metal beams times one. And the rock one is metal beams times one as well. Does that mean I can't haul it with that kind of trailer or what? This is not the the right trailer. Trader trailer in. Bell. I thought that one because it says two. I think it's this one I need. It says two, eh? Not enough space. Heck, it looks like it could fit. Okay. Right, what kind of trailer do I need that can haul that stuff? This one could definitely haul it. That or low is required for that one, though. This one probably could. Medium sized trailer with. Deployable range. Try that one. Due to insufficient space, we can't get that one.
Saddle low for that one. Saddle high. Hey, thank you for liking the stream. What kind of rip off this is, eh? I can't. I think I need two spaces. That one I can't. You think that that those things would fit on that? Doesn't require small flatbed trailer. Doesn't require a dedicated trailer saddle. Can carry up to two units of cargo. Check this one. Maybe we gotta just go right onto it or something. Get right into the zone or something. This times two. It's just because it's not fully in the zone, eh? Not enough space. Oh, here we go. I guess I had enough room in the first place. I just had to tell it to go into the trailer. Well, who knew, eh? I just gotta get this thing out of here. Run lights. Juliet, thank you for liking the stream. All right, let's figure out where we got to go. See, I, did, I had no idea. Um, oh, we got to follow this road here. And then the plan is to go over here. Y'all grab some gas when I'm going through this area. And then we will repair the rocks here with the steel beams. And we will proceed over here. We're gonna have to figure out how to get past this stupid thing again. Through the bush here somewhere. And then through there, I guess, somewhere around there, probably. Here. Got my trailer off. Go up this road. Oops, that's not where I want to go. There, we're set now. Night time. Maybe we'll see a deer or a wolf or something. That'd be pretty cool, eh?
We got the enough metal beams to cover everybody. All right. Now we're playing Snow Runner. There's actual snow in. have any questions anybody feel free to ask I might know why not oh. depends on the question I guess you have any tips don't eat yellow snow that's a good tip good thing we put the snow chains on eh Man, this vehicle is slow right now. I think I scheduled a gas station stop in there. to a main road I think here. I'll probably speed things up. Listen you're hauling lots of steel like this. A little bit of work for the engine. Keep her going man. We don't want to stop now. In the middle of the water there. Grab some gas on the way, eh? There. Fuel it up. I guess if no one's joining me, I'm just not gonna wear the headphones for a while. They're hot. There we go. Turn up my TV a bit. No need to wear the headphones. I don't have anybody I need to hear. I don't think anybody's doing anything here anyway. Let's see here. Yeah. Doing the party here. Playing with cheddars. Looks like he's not doing anything.
What's uh, how are we playing? Boom Raider. Boom Raider Definitive Edition. Now everybody sees what Howie's doing. It's actually listed online for a change. That's different. All right, you guys. We're gonna we're gonna fix those rocks on the road first, and then I'll empty out the trailer. It'll probably make things a little easier to move. They got all the signs on the way. Oh, I missed them. Good thing, eh? No one would know which way the road was then. Especially if it was really snowing. Not snowing too bad here. Okay, destination one, folks. Cargo management. How are we supposed to know which one it comes from? I think it took it off the truck. Wow, crap. Open it, take it off the other one. Not sure how the steel beams equals repairing. Moving rocks exactly, but ever. Where that pipeline is. We can get her there. Get her done, man. Me and thank you for the follow. And the differential lock on here. That guy in cops is here. Thank you for the stars for star. Thank you for liking the stream too. Much appreciated. Well, you don't have this game, cops. You probably find it to be pretty fun. I know you kind of made fun of it at first, but it is actually pretty entertaining. I like it anyway. I like slow games though. I don't want to get stuck on that log, or is that just grass? I don't know. We gotta go through here. Meh. I'm doing some steel delivery today. Look at all the snow though, it's finally Snow Runner. Oh, I got stuck on something. Crap, eh? If this will be enough to get me going. You fly in space. I'm I'm low tech, eh? 
Patch winch. I think there's something on my stuck on my trailer here. Let me just get it pulled over somewhere. We moving at all? Need to get on something good here. It won't just snap. I just snapped. Patch winch. There's one of these drives, eh? Try that one. Elite dangerous. I don't know about that. I did like, uh, There's what I'm stuck on, whatever I just ran over there. Um, I did like No Man's Sky for a bit though. Alright, this sucks. Let's go pull ourselves like way over. Oops, I made a Christmas tree. See, there's like a stump right there. Let's just release the trailer. Well, we're way over and then we'll pull that trailer over. Did you know I was looking at a game not out for a couple of years yet, I don't think. But there's a game where it's based in Alberta. It's like a zombie game. Alberta, Canada. That's kind of cool. Like a DayZ kind of game. We need to get that over more. Problem is, I can't see poop. Now one tree stump making me messed up. I don't tip it.
There, that might do it, eh? Now that it's light, I'll actually be able to see the tree stump. Oh, what a pain in the butt that was. Can I just attach it? Trailer far away, far away. There we go, we're a trailer action. Over there now. Worst part is, is we just pulled it through the bush. Now we gotta go back through the bush again. Gotta find the cleanest path through the bush that we can. Hopefully that's wide enough. If my original plan would have worked, I'd be pulling an empty trailer. But you know, sometimes original plans don't work. Almost made her. Still a little bit tight down here, eh? Scared me. Panel, thank you for the follow. I wonder if I could pull myself forward. That tree out of the way at least. I stuck on. All right, let's just drop the trailer again. I ain't going nowhere, man. That's another stupid stump is the problem. That trailer. Which one is the trailer? A hundred dots here. That one, right?
Or we just gotta find a spot where we can drive under this. There's tire tracks here. They go like super wide. Get down to that road. Oh, I'm stuck again. Here we gotta turn the differential locks on. Holy crap, man. Look how deep the snow is here. Oh, good thing we got a long range winch. It's gonna help. Please let it be that direction. I suck if I have to turn left. Or right, I guess it would have been. We're good. Right, we made her gator. Put her back in the Normal, we don't have to drive in low anymore. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, when you pull these heavy trailers, it's it messes you up a bit, eh? Okay, originally I was going to drive into into the garage but and dump the trailer. But, I mean, we need the trailer now. I'll have to bring the trailer back later. There we go. Back in here. Oh, oh, oh. Slow down. There we go. Alright. All right, here we go. Here's the bridge mission. Like, oh no, that's not the bridge yet. We're getting close, though, I think.
Avoid the giant rock over there. Oh. Thought we avoided it. Then we swung right back into it. We almost hit a giant rock there. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Guys are gonna see some excitement here. I think we should have brought some wood too, eh? We gotta follow this main road here. Trailer store up there. There's like a car here too, what's that? Bati, thank you for the follow. Oh, that's the wrong direction. It's like looking at the the wrong way we're going up here look at this trailer store right here the port we have 45 liters I can go bring that trailer in over my new bridge I just built and Sell the trailer, then I'll recover my truck back to the garage. And we'll see what the port looks like. Look at that snow, eh? I'll look something up here for a second. Thing working. Huh. Is everything videoing okay for you guys? Must be okay. Darren, thank you for liking the stream. You guys can hear me okay? Going to the port. There's That means there's probably a port mission at some point, I imagine. Look at that, eh? Drop this trailer off. What is it? There it is. Anything I need over here? Trailer in the middle of the bush. What's that doing there? There's a gas trailer here too. John, thank you for liking the stream. And what I'll do... Is I'll get a fuel carrier trailer for a second. And I will... Fuel up. And I will... Sell my fuel carrier trailer.
But 7,500 for that. I should have just got that. I could have gassed up from it too. Turn off beacons. Or repair. Repair all. Door spare wheel. Crap. There. We're all fixed. Oh, you do lose a bit of money, eh? It's not 7500 to sell it. Oh, that's a different one. It's 7500 to sell it. That's good. All right. All these bridges that need repairing, eh? Or stone falls. Maybe what I'll do is I'll turn off my engine for now. I'll just jump over my other vehicle. I will go and investigate what's required of these things. Over there. Bags on ice. There must be a mission that is it, I I'm not sure if it's a Steam game, but it there is a PC version of it. Look at all the missions I got to do. Pipeline construction. I wonder if that'll fix a stupid pipeline. Service parts. River to the pipeline. Service spare parts. That mission looks like one I could do actually. Maybe that'll get the stupid thing out of the way. Do this mission. Pipeline construction service spare parts times two. So what I gotta do for that is I'll have to go get my truck. Bring it back to the base and then just swing over left and grab the stuff I need. But yeah, there is a PC version. You'd have to look on the Steam store. Just look up SnowRunner, but I, I would imagine it'd be Steam, but I don't know. I'm playing it on Xbox, but there is a computer version. You can use a steering wheel too, which is really cool. Some people really like that. Uh, remove cargo cover. This will save us save us a bit of a trip. Go out over. Quite what I had in mind, but we're here first, buddies. Go we'll grab what we need. Look at this vehicle I got, though. Isn't that cool? That thing drives like everywhere. Of course, it doesn't haul stuff like this truck does because it's not gonna, not gonna flatbed and all that stuff, but. Little cool vehicle for scouting. There's co op too, eh, John? Although I have co op going, but nobody's joined me. Oops. Yeah. Fix that. Um, nobody's joined me at the moment, so I could be playing single player, I guess, but.
Switch to all-wheel drive, eh? Some sort of mission right here. That. Cleaners and river. Maybe I had that mission already. What do they want on this mission? Service spare parts times two. Right? We got her. Got her, man. Oop, there goes my shocks. I'll watch over them rocks, I guess. Them is driving down the road. And, uh... I remember a rock rolled under me. I came down off the hill. Rolled under my little car. I had a coupe. And then I hit that, felt that giant rock hit me right in the butt. Like, I uh, almost got right under there and just banged around, you know? Actually, insurance actually fixed it. Vera, thank you for the follow. Good day. Um, insurance covered it. But it's the difference between uh one insurance type and the other if i hit the rock it would be collision thank you for liking the stream um but since i didn't hit it it was like a less damaging insurance so that was a good thing woke me right up though man like you know you're kind of relaxed driving then bang oh bang a giant Frog hits you in the butt underneath. There, thank goodness, man. What a pain going around that was. Did that first. Kind of weird how they built the pipe, though. Should put it underground. All right. Fun game though. A little bit of learning curve when you start, but. Alright, what do we need to do elsewhere here? Fire in the barrel. We need fuel to the port. That's not brutal. A fuel trailer there, I guess. What else is involved in different oil delivery? The service site over there. Fuel, floating drill, off-road truck recommended, saddle high is required. That one's got to go to the port. There. The worst. The other one's mining, drilling supplies, liver there, some cargo, medium pipes, new drilling site is built, this one do, 
That means a lot of stuff. Bricks times four. Here's the polar base. It's way over there. Got to get stuff from there and there. I don't know. I think I better go figure out those stone things. Figure out what we need. We can go this way now, I think. Go through here, maybe. The upgrades all over the place, too. There's a bunch of missions over here. What I've highlighted there deliver cargo. Where is all those bro broken bro stone paths? Over here, okay. Oh, I gotta go. Up that way. I think if I go this way though, maybe we'll just go right along the thing, grab that upgrade on the way through here. Through there, maybe, and up. See what these are all about. Then we'll determine this thing can drive all over the place so I'm going to scout out what I need for materials and then I'll know at least. Turn on my lights for safety. Oh, I forgot to stop. Oh well. No cops out here, man. You're not going to give me a ticket for accidentally not stopping. Better watch over that pole, eh? And that tree. I'm going to drive alongside this pipeline. Grab an upgrade part on the way, because some upgrades you get from leveling and some you upgrade by finding them. I'm going to upgrade by finding this one. My big yellow beast of a car. Gotta follow the route up here. that hair. Oh, I want to drive in the bush. The oh, crap, man. Deep snow here. This thing even has differential. Probably it's a little bit less deep over there. There we go, we're moving a little bit. Watch out for the tree stumps though.
I don't know if I really have to worry about the tree stumps. In case, yes. Now you wonder. How did it? Hey, Colleen, nice to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Uh. Oh, 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 I'm going swimming. Be careful, eh? There we go. What do we get? Western star part. Nice relaxing one. That's good to hear. I hope uh, you and Howie are well today. Tell Howie I miss him. Although I get to see his jokes that he pastes on Facebook. Get out of the water, man. This sucks in the water. Alright. No one's playing snow runner with me here. You're welcome to drive your tuz around if you want. <laughs> well, I guess it's not, it's not your account though. You're driving under Howie's account. Look at my tuz though, eh? Nice and yellow. Oh, there goes their fence. I guess SnowRunner's not cool for the... Not cool for the boys anymore. Old uh, Justin came through. Oh, crap. He had a headache. It was a dramatic finish there, actually. If you ever want to check it out, I made a uh, clip on my YouTube. You know, the link's in the... The, uh... Thingamabopper, of course. But, uh, I made a link in my YouTube. It's only about ten minutes long. And it came down to the wire, I tell ya. I had, like, three liters of gas left. And you have to get close enough to grab them, eh? That was like crazy. Kind of a wild mission. So I made a really cool clip though, because I mean, it's right down the wire. I was convinced I wasn't going to get it. So it was like a highlight for sure. And this thing's like a battleship, man. It's a monster, eh? I'll keep going on the road here. Yeah, I broke my tires though. Where am I heading exactly? Right. Although it seems pretty handy for this map. Earlier, um, before you came in to the uh, stream, I. I gave my normal truck I've been using some chain tires. I don't actually know if there's a disadvantage to using the chain tires, but they seem to have the best stats for mud and off-road and even ice and then average road or average normal highway. So I figured those would probably be good to put on that truck, especially because this map is so snowy and stuff. I'm not sure what situations the tires come in where kind of thing, you know? Like I know that uh, Justin adjusts his tires, you know, in certain situations, but it's like... Uh, I don't know the advantages and disadvantages to not having them at a given time. You'd think it'd be good, but I don't know. I'm no off-roading expert, though. Oh, crap, eh? 
big nose dive there. I'm just trying to figure out what these uh, missions involve here. What do they need though? Start tracking. Wooden planks times two, okay. And we'll go get the other one. It's probably wooden planks too as well, but we'll make sure. Oh great, what's going on here? Darn it, I couldn't see. Is how we play this game anymore? Or did he beat it? There's so much to do in it. It's crazy, eh? Yeah, I probably took the hardest route I could here, but... Not for a bit. Oh, okay. You like jumping games. I think that's one thing with uh, when you're streaming that actually kind of works against you. Um, I think it messes with algorithms a bit when you game jump. It's just uh, a suspicion, but I've heard that a couple places now. You know, like if you're streaming, you kind of want to stick to one game. That's what I've always done, but. Well, look at this, eh? We're going somewhere here. The unknown. Through the bush. Through the bush we go. I guess it's nice for users, though. He hasn't streamed for a while. Yeah, I know what I mean. When we when he was streaming, he he did jump games a lot. He was, it's pretty common for him to play three games a night. This is where I'm going. Looks like this will probably do the trick. Well, he's doing okay on mixer though. They actually didn't do bad too on uh, Facebook, but it's uh, he only gave it really five hours though. So I'm sure if he gets back into it, he'll start doing better anyway. This one need metal beams. So one is metal beams and one is wooden. Good to know. Anything else out here while I'm out here? Middle of Nowheresville. Factory. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. You know, a lot of people get burned out on it too, so. You know, you don't want to burn yourself out because you're working so hard. And then I imagine for a lot of people it... You know, having to start over from scratch kind of really got to them quickly. So hopefully, finds that uh, decides to give it a go again, that he enjoys it more later on. Like gossiping about Howie, but you know, I know he's usually within a few feet of you. It's not really gossiping. Time will tell, yeah. I was reading on uh, 
Twitter, there's a few people that were talking about how you know they're they're needing breaks actually from from it. They're thinking about quitting altogether, or they're taking mental mental time off. I think that's something that everybody has to consider at different points. You know, it's good to take those days off here and there. Those days off, or sometimes weeks for for some. Okay, where are we going here? I marked it for a reason. I can't remember why now. Wanted to see what this mission was, I think. What do they want? Reach the trailer park. Well, I mean, that, I guess. Where the heck's the trailer park? It's over here. Ways over there. Repair my truck. All right. It's that away. A better route than through the bush, <laughs> particularly. Through the bush at night makes it more exciting. You can't tell what you're running over, eh? Yeah, I like driving up these trees, man. I'm like part grizzly bear or something. Yeah, I was trying out the new program that I picked up. On Humble Bundle, they had uh, some graphics bundles. So like, or not graphics bundles, but you know, like uh, stuff to make movies and stuff video editors and stuff you know and I was editing videos like I was editing my videos down and I was using Windows photos you know the one that comes with Windows Microsoft photos so I figured you know for 30 bucks you get a program that's normally 500 Canadian I got 500 bucks for driving to a trailer park. That's pretty sweet. Trailer here, too. Trailer doing here. There's a trailer store up here, too. I should sell this trailer. Yeah, like what they do. I don't know if you've ever, you're familiar with Humble Bundle, but those that aren't familiar with Humble Bundle that might be listening. It's like a web page. They have small scout flatbed discovered. They have the usually deals for different packages software, often games or whatever. And then you uh, um, what kind of parts are on that? Uh, anyway, you um, go back with you. Um, you decide how much you want to donate. And they have it attached to some sort of charity, right? So you decide how much you want to donate. So they say for this tier, you get this game, this game, and that game. Or this software, that software, and that software. 
And then for a bit more, there's another tier. So then you, you could go to that tier if you wanted. Or this tier, you get all of it. So all these different pieces of software that they're offering. So for the one I got, it was like a music thing for the tier one. Some other music thing, you know, making music program for number two. And then it was uh, Vegas Studio 16 and this other graphics studio thing. Um, you know, so $100 or so for Vegas. $500 original. Thank you for the follow. Uh, it was tier three. And you just had to make sure that you donate over the average. So it was $33 Canadian. And then that, then I was able to to get um, to get the uh, the package. Then you know. Oh crap! I can't fit, can I? Dad, thank you for liking the stream. We'll just hardcore go through this. Oh man. Trailer's not gonna like driving down that. Well, we'll drag her, push, pull her drag sail here, this trailer in. Trailer with me still? It is. Ted, thank you for the follow. Good day to you. I'll make sure we don't hit a big tree and then we'll be okay. Truck can drive anywhere. flip oh crap good thing I got an autonomous winch need to find a good tree if that one's strong enough Oh, one of these trees has got to be good enough. Really? All like rinky-dink trees right here. Oh, crap, eh? I'm good. Oh, try going the other way. This tree here is solid enough. That's definitely a more solid tree. These poplars, they're tough. There we go. See, this is why you get a winch or an autonomous winch, man. I'd have to recover. Not even that much money for the autonomous winch. You know, it's funny. I'm going to bring this trailer to the trailer 
door area. I can't turn it in because this thing can't hook it actually to the trailer. Am I carrying the load of it still though or did I drop the load? I did. Well, at least it'll be there for some time when I'm going to sell the trailer. You know, I'll eventually have to bring something to that harbor. And it'll be ready. Ready to rock and roll, man. Those are spare parts. Look how far back I dropped them. All right. Just move this out of the way of the landing pad here. And we'll go and see if we can try to do some repair and stuff. We needed planks. And stuff. Drown Hummer. Hey, we can get the Hummer. Um... Tasks given. We got rocks fall and stone fall. And rocks fall. So there's one over there. That other one. Right? We can be like Ani. Ani, man. What did the stone fall need? It need metal beams. Where do you get the metal beams? Right there. Or you can get them at the factory. It would probably be easier just to drive up the road to the factory, grab them there. Then the other one needed wood beams. That's kind of on the route too, eh? So it looks like it'd probably be easier to grab them wood planks from here. And then bring them up there and then do the stone one after. They're all over the place, eh? Wooden planks times two. Oops. Make the map. The root. Probably since it's right here and it's 83% gassed. I should recover real quick. And fuel up. Eventually. I can grab this trailer on the way and turn that one in. Up here.
guess there's a gas station right there too. Oh well. Where's that sawmill at? Rocks fall. Okay, the sawmill's up there. I wonder if that lost service trailer mission is the trailer I just brought to the other place. It's still a long ways from there, but get her done. Pull this trailer first. Oh, excuse me. Missed. <coughs> excuse me again. The throat tickle, eh? I guess the trailer plays over here by this tree. There we go, that's thirty eight hundred easy bucks, eh? You should ask Howard if there's any negative to having chains on all the time. He might know. If not, we'll have to wait for Justin to come back, I guess. Because, you know, I think you don't want to wear chains all the time in real life because it wears out the chains. But, you know, it's not like you have to really worry about buying new chains in this game. Kind of nice having this repaired, man. That sucked. Old Ben is tonight. Be working or something, I guess. It says, though, they're excellent in mud, too, though. Things for ice, not for mud. I could see it definitely be more beneficial for ice, though. You know what? I think I missed the turn, eh? Oops. Well, I might be going the right direction still. Oh, 
Or just miss the waypoint. Up to here, the driver. And it doesn't seem to have a real huge negative anyway. Only cost a hundred bucks more or some crap. There we go. Got that out of the way. It's almost daylight again. That's nice. Okie dokie. Hey, Bram. Thank you for the follow. Good day and welcome. Look at that, found the gas station. Not too low on gas, but hey, mine's a topper up. Oh, 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 don't run into that. Oh. Scrape the bottom. I know there's something there. I think it's as long as it wasn't something that was alive. Getting somewhere, man. I think we've got to turn. Although I have to admit, this game is a little more fun co oping, I think than uh, just by yourself, but it's still pretty good by yourself. I could see the appeal that people wanted co-op for. You know, I always wondered why people are crazy for co-op in all sorts of things, but there's some things it makes more sense in to me. You know, like State of Decay, everybody was so super wanting co-op and I mean it's fun in co-op but I don't know it just seemed to be harder in co-op too you know because people would be flying all over the place this depends who you're playing with you know in State of Decay it's like a zombie game where you kind of manage your community and stuff like that too like you got to grow your community collect stuff you know feed them but there's permadeath in it so you got to be careful too you know and then you play in the hard modes and your cars can get wrecked easily and people joining your game just don't care as much you know Like deep snow here, eh? I need wooden planks times two. Maybe I should go in low gear. Check something real quick here. 
Everything looks like it's running okay, eh? We don't have any double sound or anything good, right? Alright. I always get like a little paranoid, you know, that everything is running good. <laughs> uh, one day having no sound for my mic for a while. This is where we get the wood from. Hey Howard, how are you? Welcome, it's nice to see you. I need the wood planks times two. There we go, we're set for wood now. How's the Tomb Raiding going for you? That one's a totally great game. The original one that you're playing? I really liked it anyway. The heck? Didn't map the whole route. That's crazy. Crazy, man. Go on up there. Jeans are not gr are not the greatest for mud, even in Alaska. It said excellent on it, so... That's why I was going for it. There's no one around to really tell me any better, so... I just kind of guessed, but... I don't know. It doesn't... I can always change the tires later, I guess, right? I think I gotta go along here. Ah, you probably didn't hear nothing I said. Good! I probably got a nickel. Woo hoo! Got a nickel, man! I don't know how much I get for ad, to be honest, but. It says in the corner it supports me, so maybe it'll give me a penny or maybe it'll give me a nickel. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know if if being a sub stops ads. I have no idea. Did you get an ad too, Colleen? I'm sure there's... Thank you for liking the stream. I'm sure there's some sort of system in place to encourage people. Good that the ads work though. For the longest time they didn't. So where am I going? Over there. Thank you for liking the stream, Colleen Tool. You know, it's quite nice to see you guys here. I always do appreciate whenever you uh, you guys come by and chat I like anybody watching and stuff like that too but it's kind of exciting to be familiar names and and people chatting you know makes it kind of more interesting but sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it's not I guess We got wood. We're packing wood now. Look at that. We need camel toes. Camel towing. To make an appearance one of these days again in SnowRunner. That's the name of Howard's Towing Company. It's because, you know, he could take the load. Like a camel. Obviously, right? He's got the heavy-duty trucks. 
Look at this cruddy road, man. Well, I haven't got stuck today, so that's good. It's been positive. I got flipped earlier on my side, but I had that auto autonomous winch installed. You know, I spent the extra 500 bucks or whatever it was. Paid itself off. Somebody came through. It wasn't wasn't Falcon or it was just some some somebody that was experienced on SnowRunner, and they said that to have that autonomous winch on all Scout vehicles. I did some upgrades to this truck, though. Makes a difference every little upgrade. I made some more uh, highlight clips too. With the new uh, program, if you're interested, Howard, in ever doing video editing, Humble Bundle right now is the time to, to look at Humble Bundle. Or music making. Got that fancy new laptop, you know. Make some music, that'd be cool. Hmm, okay. Well, even even if, uh, you know, just for fun, right? Kind of cool to have a good, good uh, editor, I think. Whether you use it much or not, you know, you got to uh, make a cool video, you know, of your home photos or whatever you want to do, right? Add some music to it. My manager, actually, he, he went on holidays uh, before the pandemic, of course. And he brought, he took lots of photos and stuff and he made a really cool movie. I don't know what program he uses, but he made a pretty cool movie that uh, was uh, outlining his tour that he made of where he was kind of thing. So you could use a program like Vegas or go and get more more sophisticated the other one that comes with it. I was telling Colleen it's like five hundred dollars normally Canadian. Philippe Philip Philippe Philippe Sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Philippe Sorry, butchered it no matter what, but thank you for the follow. I was saying it's Filippe. Filippe. I don't know. I'm bad. Sorry, guys. But anyway, welcome. Thank you for being here. Watch me drive through this crappy snow mud. Yeah, but uh, I like to look at the Humble Bundle once in a while. Sometimes there's some pretty cool games on there, though. They have, like, they try to sell you on their subs their subscriptions, too. But I just usually buy the bundles if it looks like something I'm interested in. Like, the one time they had a Star Wars bundle with, like, 15 different Star Wars games in it. I probably still didn't play any of them, but you know how it is with Steam. I bought a PlayStation bundle once. That was probably worthwhile. Playing right, looks like. Is that a road? Yeah, if any, if either of you have interest in, in that stuff, it's very good to check out. Jason, thank you for the follow. And by the way, guys, I don't work for Humble Bundle. I just... You know, I thought it was a cool idea because you're donating to some charity while you're getting some cool programs. Sometimes the deals are good and sometimes they're not.
good for one computer by the way those programs if you change computers you gotta actually buy another license or get another bundle I guess or no you unactivate your old license if you're changing computers but if you want to go on more than one computer then you have to that I got promoted now we gotta get some steel beams do the other one eh stone fall metal beams way back there over by the garage and recover I guess what way over there aren't it This pipeline is a real butt in the way, hey? Well, that's faster this way or not? Probably harder this way but check it out All right, here we go. Right here, a sawmill. I don't think a sawmill's in the way. Eh? We're going back up this route again. Way up there. You know, one part for this part here would be a mouse would be handy. Map points are accurate. Somebody's working hard on something. Hey, you can hear the construction. Wonder why the factory is highlighted. Maybe you can get steel beams there too. There's like a trailer there or something. This is the way we go on. You agree with that? Well, that's good. I can't remember what I said now, unfortunately. <laughs> that was nearly a minute ago. I just ramble on all the time. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh. Oh, by the way, I think I'm going to the movies next Friday. Markers? Oh, okay. So I think I might be going to a drive-in. So that's pretty cool, eh? Although I'll miss some hockey. Or all the hockey, potentially. But... 
If that's the right day, I'll put it in my in the chow section though. Uh, when the time comes. In case you guys are wondering where I am. I don't see Howard too much on Fridays now, but uh, you know, if he decided to pop by and wondered, you know, or if you pop by. It's good to, I think it's good to try out the drive-in while they're there, you know, they're, that's a kind of a novel thing with the Corona. You know, because you, you, there was a drive-in theater in BC here. But to go there, I'd have to drive quite a bit. And, you know, it's late at night, and then, you know, by the time you get back, you're... 3 in the morning or whatever, you know? So in that aspect... Um... You know, there's something local like that. I, I think it's a good thing to check out. They're older movies, but you know, they're having kind of a double feature, kind of a that looked like an interesting combo. Do they have that in your area too, Colleen? You guys get to check that out sometime, maybe. It's been something that's I know I noticed a lot of places have been doing. But, yeah, uh, I don't know, you could always watch your local events, I guess. Yeah, for the amount of people that come through on Facebook, you have a drive-in just outside? Oh, the amount of people that come through, because there's actually, a, you know, a decent amount of people that come through. There's not a lot of troublemakers, fortunately, hey? I think that's good. You know, it makes it kind of relaxing. You can just kick back, you know. I think it's because... I mean, there's probably some, a lot of kids too, but I think that it's just because, like, um, on Mixer, there was a lot of kids that were looking to cause problems, you know? Kobe, thank you for liking the stream! It tore down the twin drive in. Oh, really? Yeah, for the most part, they're not that profitable, but, you know, maybe this might resurge interest in drive-ins, eh? Did you get to hear the message? Um, Howard probably would find it pretty funny, too. But did you get to hear the message from Ryan Reynolds? Um, that they made about uh, COVID. The uh, premier of BC uh, asked him, he said, can we, you know, we got to get the message out to young people. Um, because, you know, that's where a lot of the infections are. And, uh, they're losing their handle on it. And anyway, uh, he says, maybe we can get, like, Deadpool. Hopefully we can get good citizens like Deadpool or, you know, like Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool, or Seth Rogen maybe, maybe help get that message out to the young people. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just grab some gas right there. And then Ryan Reynolds responded with a recorded message. It's pretty funny. Um, to the premier of BC. Sort of. 
gets out the message, but he's done it in a very joking way. Uh, I'm sure you could always Google it, but if you have Twitter, I did share the message. Like I, uh, if you go look at my tweets, um, then you can always listen to it if you want to. But you guys will get a laugh, I'm sure, out of what he said. Like he's talking about his mom. You know, like don't don't make. There's some cool old people out there, like David Suzuki and my mom. My mom would probably rather be out hunting young men for like a Mrs. Mrs. Robinson kind of experience, you know, or whatever, than being cooped up. And he makes a joke about. How his idea of a party is to hang out by himself and watch a marathon of gar Gossip Girl, and I don't know, it's pretty funny. Guy's got a good sense of humor. Whether you liked Deadpool or not, it's it's very funny. It's funny though, he's trying to get a message out to young people that he'd use a Mrs. Robinson uh, reference though. Because they might not get that one. But I don't know if you're familiar with Mrs. Mrs. Robinson, but you love the Deadpool movies, they're good. Because um, Mrs. Robinson, like that's like a 1970s reference I think I wonder if anybody ever joined my party oh no my party's closed off oh well there we go man let's get some steel beams oh crap who put that stupid stump there, man? That's hidden. Jerks. See, the tree's there. Oh, you don't get it? Mrs. Robinson was a... It was like, I think it was like a Woody Harrelson movie. And, uh, basically... It's about a younger man and an older woman. Um... Mrs. Robinson, of course. I think uh, Simon Garfunkel even made a song. Oh, Mrs. Robinson. In reference to that. Metal beams I need? Do yeah. hey, you, Mrs. Robinson. Da -na 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 -na. Hey, hey, hey. How it goes. Badly. I'm Garfunkel did better before your time. Yeah, but you know, that doesn't mean you won't necessarily know about it, right? You know, like, um, a lot of times there's cultural references that you might or might not know about, right? So, even if it's before your time, I don't know, the yellow truck. There's Justin. He was disappeared for the longest time. I was asking him questions and no one was gone. You understand what the song? Um, hey Justin, one of the questions I asked you, and you just never got the answer, probably because you weren't really there, uh, was um, why would you go with off-road tires if you can do chain tires? You know, because I did chains here, because it said excellent, or good, 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 okay for for road roads, or no, okay for highway, but good, good, good for mud, ice, and other things. So I didn't. I, I decided to go with chains, but I, I mean, what what times would you not want to go with chains? 
maybe maybe I'll just ask it in a convoluted way so it's impossible for you to answer but you know maybe you'll have to type out like a paragraph now but you type out a paragraph do it in multiple lines though that'd be easier to read they fill up with mud and down down clean up hard packed ice roads offered tires and hard packed ice roads are the best for chains well they don't clean up well how do you clean them up then I've been driving with chains because I asked you like an hour ago or something and you were probably out watching friends or something but um I don't know, they seem to have been performing okay. How do you know they don't clean up? Do they document that somewhere? Hmm. There's a lot of hard packed ice roads here though. They become slicks. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that's amazing. I've been playing co-op the whole time by myself. Real life experience. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, I don't know. I just read the stats. <coughs> Excuse me. Man. They should have that in there, though. Oh. Well, I mean, the road's kind of a good mix here, it seems. Chris, thank you for liking the stream! Chains do work in certain mud. Oh, really? Oh, Sabaydra, thank you for liking the stream! I don't have the party on right now because, you know, felt silly wearing my headphones and talking to a party of myself. But if you guys do decide you want to join in the game, just let me know and I can start a new party. I'm like, uh, you know, just relaxing without the headphones right now because it's, you know, it's warm to have headphones on and... I just have the sound from my TV to hear these diesel noises. Real life, you use chains and it works sometimes. It depends on what the ground is like. Oh. No, but you change the tire sometimes when you're playing this game. Well, you're supposed to use tires in the Coca Hall or chains on the Coca Hall event, aren't you? You know what, Colleen? I was showing. I sent a. I sent a message. I sent it to Hydra as well as Justin. Um, about this game that is out of. Uh, Anmore, Alberta. Um, it's like a zombie game that's coming out probably in about a year or two. But they they have Canmore and they have Calgary in the game. So I thought those guys, you know, them that them the Alberta boys. So I thought those guys would be excited because I'd be I'd be certainly excited about Interior um, BC. Although I'm excited about. Alberta too, of course, because anything Canada excites me, of course. But uh, as far as it goes, this is the international thing truck, I think, is what it is, if I remember right. But, like the second or the first truck I bought. 
You love the bagel? Well, then you might like that game, too. Kill some zombies in Canmore. There was a Kickstarter for it, I guess, back in the day, but they're getting closer to completion now. Darth Bapes was telling me about that game. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool sounding. I don't know if he kickstarted it, but... He knows a lot about those kind of games. He plays those games. Yeah, but it's Cadmore. <clears throat> that, that, you know, for the minus that you get with the zombie, you get the plus with the Cadmore. Escape from Tarkov? Is Escape from Tarkov a zombie game? I played a little bit of Vigor before. I think that's a similar style to Tarkov if I interpreted it correctly. Although, you know, I don't know. I hate doing something then you get picked off by some player. I did, you know, if you guys remember the origins to my my streamer name, you know, Shakal Star, I played Age of Conan. And that, I played on a PvE server. And I got attacked by players. Constantly, because I was in, in like a super popular, or not a super popular guild, but a guild that was very, you know, part, you had to be somebody to get into it, essentially. And, and of course, you know, there's a lot of people bitter about that. You know, they, anybody that was in the reincarnation guild, they kind of want had it out for you. Anyway, um, so I got into this guild. I'm not exactly sure, you know, it was kind of through knowing somebody that wanted me in the guild, I guess. You know, I was in a different guild and then our guild got kind of absorbed. But anyway, yeah, I don't know. Can you, how do you do that? I just picked chain tires. Anyway, I, that's where my name came from. Age of Conan, my, one of my characters' name was Shikal. Uh, I had variants of Star for the rest. But, you know, you're targeted so often in that game that, you know, I think that's probably why I don't play a lot of battle, <coughs> battle royale or vigor like games. Thank you for the stickers. Nice to see those actually get used, you know. Zoom in on the front tire. How do you zoom? I'm not going to do it here. I'm on the big hill. I'll have to do it at the top of the hill. I'm getting better at using these differential locks, though. Look at this. I made it to the destination. Sweet. Now how do I zoom? Zoom, zoom in the room, room. Or you mean just turn it around like that? Doesn't look like any of the chains are on, to be honest. Up on the left stick. I didn't really zoom that much. Oh, there's chains on it, I think. A tree there. Looks like there's chains on it to me. Mindogus, thank you for the follow. Good day, welcome. They're all chained. Well, there you go. See, I don't know. No idea, man. Let's go sell that trailer while I'm here, eh? Gas do I have? Probably maker there, eh? Yeah, like quite a ways. I 
don't like really want you to zoom in at all here, do they? Zoom, zoom in the room, room. Did you hear the Deadpool message, Justin? You should, you should, uh, you guys should go and listen to it sometime when you get a chance. It's funny. Uh, message to Premier John Horgan from Ryan Reynolds. Because he asked. Ryan Reynolds to make a public message for young people. <coughs> Working. Oh, really? Well, there you go. See, Colleen. Colleen knows a thing or two about driving in snow. I try to avoid driving altogether. I hate driving in video games. I'm okay with driving in video games. You know, if I have to go somewhere, I don't mind driving all the time, but most of the time I'd prefer to not drive if I can, because, you know, like I'm driving on the Coke Co or Coca Cola sucks. So, you know, if we have to go to Vancouver or something like that, I'll take the canyon. We grew up in the snow belt of Ontario. Holy crap, eh? What the crap kind of crappy road did I pick here, man? Holy moly. Oh no! Oh no, crap. Is there anywhere I can hook to? Can't even get a good angle. Where's some. How am I supposed to see that? Oh. Wow, crap, I don't know. Camera is sabotaging me here. I get some good range, get the tree way over there, eh? Well, eventually I'll just pull all the trees down. I think I have tree, two trees to pull. That's it, we're out of trees. Crap, eh? I think I was just doing a trailer. What should I do? 
this thing? Carpet container. Use my well. It's too late now. Deliver to the port the cargo container. Look at that, eh? That far away, I could probably do that one. Oops. I keep thinking I'm over here. It looks like we want to go up here. In these creeks. What do you mean, no? Erase your left. Tr Left trigger. It erases all the lines, isn't it? I tried to request camel towing to come help me, but he's busy playing the tombs. Oh, okay. Just imagine what Camel Towing's logo looks like. They probably got a camel. Oh, I hit a rock. You can't what it's doing. Probably, eh? It's carrying all the it's carrying a big load on its humps. And pulling a trailer. How oh, we should have a contest. Get everybody to submit a drawing of of his business logo. Um, there's a guy named Sludge that was playing with us that Howie knows and I know from playing NHL before. And he, he, he thought that was funny. It was me actually that made the, the name up, but, uh, I could, that's what I called Howie's towing business all the time. Sounds dangerous. Do you have a contest? People love contests. You just can host it in Max's forum or something. Everybody, we're making our way over to the 10469 area. Good buddy. Crap, gotta go that way now. <coughs> <coughs> I'm 
Grab more pot. What the heck? Water's almost empty too. All right, now we're back moving again. Static electricity charge there, that was weird. Hey, there's a bridge here. Oh, this is where I'm going. Wonder if my thingamabopper will even bed here. I think it's too wide. Oh. Just on there, man. I'm a pain on a sewer, man. I just go the wrong way, though, because it says lift lower. And it's backwards. If you look at that, it says RB and then LB. And then it says lift lower. And the lift, you have to actually push LB. That doesn't totally make sense. Same with... Same with the winch. You know that um, World War Z game? <clears throat> That's the uh, same company that makes this. Is that too much? Not lined up? That was okay. Going with this bugger. Mission am I doing? That was the one, wasn't it? Where's the other one? The port is behind me, man. Where am I facing? There we go. Got a plan in motion, man. Motion in the ocean.
We're getting it done. Oh, is this where I tipped over before? That would suck. Sorry, I didn't read that sign. Did you guys catch what it was telling me to do? 050? By the way, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Hit that like, that share, that follow would be appreciated. If you wish to uh, do so. Pauline saying no, didn't read the sign. Oh well, I'm sure it wasn't important. Probably in Russian anyway. We're in Russia right now. Or no, wait, we're not. We're in Alaska. I guess it'd be in English. Oh crap, not looking good here. So wobbly. Hey, Mighty Max joined. Finally, it's worthy of being a co-op. Here, put my headset on, eh? Alright. Looks like Justin Gillard might have invited me to a party too. He's playing with Anonymous. Never mind. It's just a party. I don't know if even I got invited to a party. I just joined it. If that worked. Yeah, it's a party. He's just not talking yet. me go bro right I guess I could probably turn the differential off you can I can't hear ya if you can hear me I don't know be funny if my thing was just turned down but I could hear yesterday okay, here's the bridge we built earlier down by the river You know, it actually feels like it should be night in this game. I'm gonna watch TV and get some rest. I tell you, man. I tell you. Well, thanks for coming by. Here we go, we got one container left in the river. I don't see the other container though, what the heck? Where's 
Where's the other container, Justin? Is there another map? Oh, here, wait. Uh, I don't know. Tell how I miss him and love him long time. It might be. Oh, that sucks. Off road truck delivering. Where's said trailer? Over there. Where the garage is. Night dude. You say night to Falcon? And <clears throat> see how this game, like, uh, it's just not hot anymore for old, old Justin and Howard. They, they're like, man, game's old now. Oh, I should grab that trailer while I'm here. Or recover. They're like, I've done it all, man. What kind of trailer is that one? Fuel carrier? Like it, but I'm not feeling well. That's just because you go too hard, man. You wore yourself out. You got the COVID. Where's the front end of this thing? That's what they say the symptoms of the COVID are. What the heck? I joined a party with Mighty Max and I haven't heard him yet. Is it working? I see it lighting up for me. Been too hot. What the heck, dudes? Sounds like Justin's music here. Look at my can't attach the trailer. Crap. Let's get out of here. This music sucks. I don't know where Mighty Mac went. By the garage, I guess. Everything's like right here, eh? Night, night. Uh oh, crap. I 
There's the building. It's got a big bumper stain. It's snowing, man. Hey, did you guys hear about the uh, ice cream song? The change in the ice cream song? That's new news. The other one has racist links. They made a new one. The old the lyrics to it were racist, I guess. Although I, I didn't even know there was lyrics, but probably was time for a new one anyway. Fuel carrier trailer is? Oh. Yeah, there's a trailer there, eh? If I can reach it from here. Be able to pull it. We pulled it upside down, but not dangerous to drag a trailer by its side. There we go, where are we bringing this thing? Fuel station, okay. Direction's that. That the way, okay.
We catch it. There we go. Oh, we need to switch my gears. That was initiated by the company. They're probably just looking for a change anyway. I would assume most corporations do things for monetary benefit most of the time, but sometimes good PR. We're gonna zoom, man. By the way, if you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here, guys. Anybody that's old, welcome too. If you wanna hit that follow, that like, that share, it'd be appreciated. Get that word out for me. Variety streamer. Playing the game SnowRunner today. Trying to play that one on Saturdays lately. I don't know what happened to Mighty Max. Very left. Still in the game, but I, I don't think I don't know. I haven't heard him in the party yet, so I don't know what happened. Maybe it's broken. Broken party, you know. make it deliver this trailer That we're gonna we're gonna do it. Well, where am I supposed to bring it to? I guess over here, maybe. There we go. Oh man, that was using two different places you could bring it. I don't know where the cargo container is, though. Oh, 
Lost service trailer. That one. So that's over there. Do that too, probably. I'm driving an off road truck. Some shortcuts. The mapping. Not sure, how I'm gonna get up there. Might be easier to go into the sawmill here. Maybe up to here, and then over along the cut line or something. This way, going back to Cali, 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 We're going back to Cali. I don't think so. You know, I bet you one day they're gonna have like super outrageous open worlds and make these open worlds too small. That we're made through that creek. You need to jump on the tuz. Well, it's up to you if you want to. You're certainly welcome to join. I've been faring okay, but you know, there's always that time where something might come up. If anything, you can get Howard some XP. Some sweet XP, man. And some sweet monies. Is he cooking? Is he cooking anything good lately? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? This route is more difficult than I was expecting. I think I can fit in there. We've got to go up here first. Oh, that's not the right place. What the heck? Why did I put it there? Crap. What the crap? Did pork stir fry with rice? That sounds pretty good. I bet you that was that was a nice meal. So did you get any ads so far tonight, Colleen? I'm just wondering if it was a connection with subs or not, you know? Is 
Could be the device too, who knows, right? No ads? Oh, maybe it is connected to something. Because Howard is saying he's getting an ad. So I'm just wondering if there's differences there. What, what device are you on tonight? And what did he look, what did he look on with? We had the other day on Maxis. No, I meant like, are you, like, uh, I meant here though. Oh, you're both on phones, okay. Because I know on uh, Twitch is different. I don't know what if. if Facebook is differences are though, you know, that's the thing I was kind of wondering about. Oh, Mighty Max is gone. Or something. I don't know, it's hard to tell what happened there. And not sub to get ads. And when you, right when you log in to stream on either platform. Oh, okay. So where are we going with this thing? Oh, service trailer. The factory. So if we can get Going in that general direction. Oh, it's that way. Jackknife this trailer. We can get down to here. Over now. The road will be we're making her. We're her, breaking her. No tree will stop us.
Oh, 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 out of control there. Where's our destination? There. Oh, it's your own? Cuz. Oh, I thought you'd be playing as uh, Howard's. Excuse me. Oh, okay. When did you get the Tuz? Are you driving something else? Oh, you got a con. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to bring this thing. Oh, the other spot, I guess. Look at that, another fifteen hundred bucks. Oh, I see. I wouldn't drive my Tuss. Wish I knew where that other container was. The crap, eh? Return. That's pretty far away from here. Find the radio station. A whole bunch of stuff over there I gotta un open up. Paddle high is required.
wonder if I should try changing the tires. All terrain. Mangleish, thank you for the follow. Good day. I don't know, I guess the current tires are probably open. It's kind of snowy here. If I can make her up there. try this horrific route maybe you can uh, escort me with the Taz then just that kind of side road off of the main base See if I get stuck I don't know if I will but Find out. Wait, the park is by. Oh, are you still moving? Yeah, I'm going following this road basically. I don't know how bad it is. We'll see, I guess. Right. So if you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Hit that follow button, like that share. All appreciated. Any or all. Today's game is called Snow Runner. Crap. Much of a road, is it? Be in the middle of it.
don't know if the tubs will even fit through there. Kind of a tight, tight fit for this truck. Tubs is even wider. Upgrade location discover. Where is that? Oh, maybe Colleen found an upgrade. Oh. I don't know. Something's out there, I guess. Alright, we're making her. We're shaking and baking. Policarpio, thank you for the follow. Good day to you. Welcome. Alright. We're driving through the bush here. We're gonna do a mission. Gotta get to the mission, pick up a trailer. Snow running, man. Took a while to get to the snow level, though. Getting there though, slowly but surely. Destination's up there. It doesn't nail us with deep snow. I drive through this. Gotta go to the right, I guess. Took the shortcut. Can't drive through wood fences. You can only drive through chain link. I probably think it'd be easier to drive through a wood fence than a chain link fence, though. New trailer discovered. 
Oh my, we got a big one. All right. Yeah, definitely. We're gonna need an escort for this one. Look at this bugger. port all right so it looks like we're going straight ahead more or less that part will be not too bad and then I think as long as we stick to the main road here this part may get ugly And we'll go for here. And in over. That's my planned route. Of course, it's nighttime. Night time in the winter wonderland. I can tell if I'm heading straight here. Get from a little bit of an angle. Noah's glistening. Are you listening? A beautiful time. We're happy tonight. Going into low gear now. Relented, thank you for the follow. All in the drilling equipment. Oh crap, good moving a bit. Pulling all the trees down. That's the one I want. The heck I was stuck on. We're moving again. Colleen likes the Tuz. I have a suspicion. Howard and Colleen's next cat will be named Tuz, I predict. Not a bad cat name, actually. This doesn't look like great road.
Maybe drive right up beside me and then and then make swing a right when you're kind of towards the front end of me. Oh, like come towards me? You're too far back to pull me straight there. You kind of go to where that pole is on my screen. In the middle. I think that would be about where you want to be. So yeah, just drive right past the front end of me and then you'll be able to turn. Then drive up the hill there. And more, I think more to the middle of the truck. So you can pull the trailer up at the same time. So see that pole I'm looking at right there in the middle? Go up there. I think would be the best place. At least that's what I'm thinking. We'll use physics. Physics, man! I would probably do it so you're driving up the hill, though. Like, the front end is going... Um... Like, up there. So I'd kind of flip your butt end so that you're kind of facing the opposite direction of me and then just drive up that direction right there where I'm pointing with my camera. And then if you can grab the top half of my trailer once you're up there then be good. You have the most power going forward, so. Yeah, I, feel, I think you gotta go still more towards that other pole. So, back up a little bit. Oh, maybe that'll work. Oh, there you go, eh? I guess you're forward enough. I was thinking you'd have to be farther back. You're gonna have to maybe... I'm gonna have to use you as a brace to keep myself straight. I'm not sure how to do this. But I don't hip it again, you know? I'm gonna look at the map. This doesn't look like somewhere we could just drive through, though. We kind of still have to head that direction. I don't think I can get a trailer through that. Oh, you're going to knock me over. I think we gotta get you to latch on to the middle part of my trailer and keep me keep the trailer balanced. I'm stuck on you. 
You're gonna get me hooked on the tree. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> oh man. It launched me. all my gas too, eh? It's like a weird horror movie. I think I'm coming back down. I'm gonna wind up having to go reset this mission, I think. Oh, wow, that's weird, eh? Detaching the trailer doesn't make a difference. Oh, it's way over the river. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reset that mission. That's weird. I think what I have to do is I have to go to single player and look where it wound up like way over there on an island so go into your vehicle recover your vehicle and uh hey hayden um did you just see what happened there that was weird eh like launched into the air um, yeah, go into your vehicle, and you're gonna wind up probably wanting to, uh, recover to the garage, and then, of course, uh, retain your vehicle, and I'll go retain, any jokes or what? It was like, it launched the vehicle, it's like, look where it is, it's right across, right across the river where the trailer wound up we got stuck on a tree and colleen pulled me with my tuz up a bit and we got stuck on a tree and she launched me across the river are you a joke <laughs> isn't that crazy look where that trailer is boring the uh Show me again. You have to. You have to look in the the vod. I'll probably put that one on YouTube now. But uh, as far as it goes, I mean, we're right here, coming from here, and I tipped. So she pulled me up, and I tipped again, and she bumped into me, and then it fell down one more time. So she pulled me up again. Then it got kind of caught on a tree, and it sprung me across the whole river. So it's like. Kind of weird. It looked like I was in a hurricane from the perspective of the the car. But we're gonna have to. If this is where it started, and the trailer is across that entire river. I don't think I can get there. 
this water, but we just see what happens. I sink. Or not. You here for the jokes? Well, there you go. There's a joke. I'm sinking right into the water. Look at the trailer. Look at it. It's in the air over there. Well, Tuzzes don't float. Recover. Retain. I'm going to go into single player mode because unfortunately I have to. And then I'll reset that mission. You're here for the jokes. Here for the jokes. I don't have any jokes. Wait, wait for a while. Maybe I'll see something clever in about an hour. You see, now that you're older, discovering someone who was once your buddy is now your guy. Don't call me guy, friend. Not your friend, buddy. Yeah, I made some money though. So I have to go into continue and just go into regular mode to reset that, I think. I'm not your guy, friend. I used to have that skit, actually. Let's see here. Me. One second here. Be exciting. You'll like this. You have to fully reset. Can't just reset the mission? Like, does he mean reset the game? Like from the very beginning of the whole adventure? That's kind of lame. Oh, that mission. Oh. How do you reset the mission? Oops, I don't want to go to the truck store. stranger asked you to get into his car he's not your buddy that's right you have to learn from wheels from Degrassi Junior High got into somebody's stranger's car and the guy took him in the middle of the bush and tried taking advantage of him that was the original Degrassi That was the back in the day, Degrassi. Look, guy, we have to stay strong. If you don't stand with your fellow Canadians, then... Oops. Look, guy, we have to stay strong. If you don't stand with your fellow Canadians, then you are a rat. Don't call me a rat, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. 
He's not your friend, guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. He's not your buddy, friend. I'm not your friend, guy. Let's give it up, guy. Don't call me your guy. I am not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. There you go. That's just for you guys. All right, how do we reset that mission? Let's figure it out. What mission is that? Floating drill. I think it was on Blackbird, wasn't it? Restart. See if that's in the right spot now. Okay, it's over there. That's good. And then we gotta bring it to the port. Sweet. What is up? I should probably check that other one too, eh? Painters in the river? Can we reset that one or we have to go to a certain spot, I guess? Yeah, I guess we have to... Alright. So we go back in and... Retain! And I'll be able to... The main menu. And over to co-op. Back to Alaska, north. I don't know the song. By the way, welcome you guys if you're new. Welcome you guys if you're not new. It's all good. Make sure you hit that like, that share, that follow. Hopefully it's fun to be here. I'm enjoying your presence. Play different games all the time, though. Not just SnowRunner, it could be anything. Here we go, here we go to the map. Garage. And truck storage. International. Use the garage. I gotta make my route again. No, that route seemed okay. It was doable. Get her back there again. Looks like there's an easy way to get the port from there, though, that's for sure. 
Maybe instead of cutting down through the bush, I'll, I'll just go along there. And then... Then we'll wind up... Maybe we should go here this next time. And then up. I don't know if there's a good route here or not, but looks like it turns there though. I'm reading that right? No. A road there? Jeez. if that's where we got stuck last time or not but looks like the only way to go really the road runs out maybe to here there's another better way Maybe it'd be better just to go right back and then over to the port instead of straight. You know, like just reverse that route. I'm just thinking this route here, we, I don't know, I guess we'll evaluate it as we go through it. This looks more doable or not, you know, with that monster trailer, you know. Just that hill was brutal, you know? It was like sideways. Alright. I don't know if that big trailer would fit through here. Which route did Howie take when he went? I don't think that trailer would fit through this. Yeah, there's no way I'd get the trailer through this part. So it's got to be that upper hill.
They probably did that on purpose. So that people didn't take that route back, eh? Alright, we're doing it. Getting there. We could actually use a fuel escort too, to be honest. Man, you use a lot of gas getting up here, eh? Take my own road. Right. 
set, man. Are you in the area? Map it out. We gotta go that way. For sure. I assume you gotta go this way, because I think that was where it got tippy. And in here. Up. I think if it gets tippy enough, I have a winch probably in the middle-ish of the trailer or a tree or something. I don't know what the heck. See, I guess. I got Tippy up there, so maybe it'll be better on this route. the low gear again. So if you guys are just joining us, we're hauling this giant drill thing through the port. Which is like a kind of tricky route. Hopefully we don't. Last time we tipped it, then we fell into the river. Try a different, slightly different route here. An idea here. I'm gonna attach a winch. See where I can attach. Middle-ish here. Not really, eh? That's a winch. Maybe I'll try my front end. These trees on the side here. The security.
Can you pass me on the left, Colleen? And go in front of me, and then I'll be able to latch onto you if I need to. Just straighten out, though. You don't need to go into the bush. Okay. Can I hook? Back end or something. That one. Get moving. There we go. Oh crap. Didn't fall. You have to go for farther forward, otherwise I'll hit you once I have momentum. That's what happened to me and Howard in the big crash of uh, earlier times. He was just too close to me. And then I'll ask you to back up when I need you to back up. Because I can't stop if I have momentum, so I to make sure you're a good distance in front of me. Because it glitched and rolled right back into me before. So you got to keep ahead of me, quite quite a bit ahead of me. This game is super buggy. Is this? Ah, crap. Melanie, thank you for liking this dream. Justin, thank you for sharing this dream. That one's strong enough. Nope. Can you drive to the edge of that green on my screen, Colleen? And we'll see if uh, I can pull myself forward to you. 
might not need to, but it would probably be better if my anchor was centered. We're just back to the blue there. Just in the middle of the road. I don't think I can reach you quite yet. There you go, just maybe go on the road though, not on the edge of the road. There, right there. Stop there. Maybe a little bit forward so, so that on my screen you're um, you're right on a little bit forward on the edge of the green there. I'll honk when, uh, when you're on the edge. Right there. Now I'm going to just pull myself forward here. There we go. Super careful operation, eh? I'm gonna release, keep going. So that I don't have to stop. Do you have a lot of gas left, Colleen? I don't know what the honking means. If you have a lot of gas left, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get some fuel from you. Because <clears throat> I'm getting low. Howie is honking. Thank you for the follow! There we go, that's pretty good. Wonder where we are now, anyway. Holy crap, we got forever to go. If you have to gas up... Your fuel tanks and stuff like that. Looks like there's a gas station up here on the map um, in front of us there. Get out of the way so that I can start up my momentum here because I'm going to have to call up, fight, climb this hill. And then if I need you to, uh, well. Get a tow. Less towing, the more control I have, so.
Can you park where that little bush is right there beside me? I don't know if the pole would work there though, because I might tip my trailer. Try not to hit me and lock me over. Alright, right there is perfect. Stop. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control the winch. Don't move. You're just, All you are is a tree. Oh, I can't hook to you. Crap. Can you hook to the top part of my trailer there? Will it let you? Like you see on mine where the dot is right now? And then once you're attached, I'll be able to probably move but don't pull on it just uh, just hook to it and that's it it looked like it attached for a second hard with there's no verbal communication so I'm, I'm just kind of going on what I can guess here there's like 20 second delay between us oh you can't attach to me okay wonder if I can attach to you now that you're closer okay stop stop with your winch for a second Check different winch points. Yeah, no, it doesn't want to hook to you. Let's try going straight and see what happens. What am I hooking to? I'm moving at all. Oh, I'm hooking to that tree. You low gear. Maybe try going in front of me. He hooked to me for a second. Alright, let's try it. Go forward. Had me for a second. Weird.
try to go wide. Yeah, I got momentum. I'm gonna try to let him go. That's weird, eh? Well, it'd be a killer uh, Dean if we had two tuzzes, eh? We might have to uh, run for fuel. Where that gas station is. burning through the gas here. Not going anywhere now. Where are we? Are you running for fuel?
Run your work. A little bit, I guess. Alright. If I can hook onto that pine tree, yeah. Yeah, it looks like I can. So I can't, don't pull it over. You filled up your bear tank too, right? Good timing because uh, the gas is getting low. <laughs> I'll definitely need to fill it. It wouldn't work. Weird. Well, you can probably fuel me up and then make another fuel run for yourself. If you need to, I might have, I could probably, you jump into your, um, if you get it to the gas station and you jump into your, uh, your Jeep, then, uh, you know, I could try to see if, since it's my vehicle, see if that would make a difference. get to this port now. Map it out. Yeah, just drive it to the gas station by the pump there and then jump to your Jeep and then I'll, I'll jump into it for a second and see if that makes a difference. You know, maybe it's less buggy if it's my vehicle, you know. Hopefully we can get across this bridge. I think it should be a lot smoother on the highway though. Hopefully we won't burn as much gas, you know. Let me know when you're there. Oh crap, I went the wrong way. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, 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 don't tip on that stupid rail. Dumb rail, I hate those. Like that giant drill wouldn't just crush that rail. Oh, you're in the garage? Okay. 
Top engine for a second. I'll jump to the Tuz. Oh, wait. And we'll just try seeing if I can fuel it up if it any any luck, hopefully. The main one has this full tank. The heck? Yeah, it looks like it's bugged for me too. That's weird. Us roof rack fuel. Well, it says the roof rack has 120 now, and then it says the main one has. Maybe it worked. Hopefully it worked. You can jump back to the Tuz. Hopefully we're past the worst of it. Oh, there's something crap on the road here. Down the road. This should be interesting. clear that bridge did the, everything look like it had fuel for you I'm assuming you're back in the Taz by now Looking up though. Our oh, roof rack is empty. Oh, it said 120 out of 20 when I looked at it. That's weird. Oh well. We're going the right direction anyway. I can get in. Where do I gotta deliver this crap? Over there. Did it! of all the junk. Ooh, what a stressful mission, eh? Like you had to really be very careful throughout it.
Now I gotta deliver oil barrels. Eat. Well, we got another pipeline uh, repair over there and in the other place later. Looking through the missions here. Bricks and beams and fuel. Cargo containers, metal pipes. Metal pipes is a long one to haul through. I'm just gonna go to the washroom real quick here. <clears throat> ah, much better. I adjust my thing and then I flipped it back up. Right, which mission should we do now? What's this one? Deliver to the ports cargo container one and two. I think I probably got to reset that mission too. And check that for a second. Painters. 
in the river. Alaska. Container in the river bug. That's what it say here. No, that's not the same thing. No runner container in the river is missing. Yeah, looks like, I don't know. That one has to be reset too. Weird. That's quite a task to bring that stuff in, eh? There's a trailer right here. Can I... Can't pull this trailer either, I don't think, eh? I don't think this is the right kind of hitch though, so I don't think I'll have any luck with that. That's way over there. That's way over there. That's way over there. Mind you, I can. Pro I don't know. I could probably grab fuel from there. I don't know. I don't think uh, we can do much with it, though. That's the only thing. Just need the right truck. I think it's one of those pickup trucks or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab that. I think. I'll grab the fuel. I'm right near it. Um, metal beams is there. Where's the garage? So here's the starting place, I think, right? So, I don't know if we if we pull out another truck, then maybe you can grab these metal beams. You might have to grab a trailer for it, though. That's the only thing. Do you have a truck that can hold haul these metal beams? I don't know how big metal beams are. Argo types.
The dinks dudes who added this info comment added that items missing. Say how big the metal beams are. Oh, here we go. Metal planks times two. So if we if we grab a normal truck. Um, for the polar bear base supply, you'd have to, you'd have to go out and come after you retain. I was just thinking that if we get, get you to grab this, uh, there's a trailer store right there. So if you go to this, this base here with a truck that can carry metal beams, or pull a trailer that can carry metal beams. There's two spots. And then uh, that might be an easy mission to do. Um, I could put out another truck. I think I have a second truck. Gotta find the garage for a second. I got a couple. This one's a heavy duty. This one's an off road. That's a highway one. Probably the off road, I guess. Customize. Just checking out what the options are on this thing. Got highway tires on. See any difference here? Hundred thirteen thousand for the winch. I'll be okay there. Put a flatbed on it. How many spaces can that hold? Probably good enough. There, if you want to take over this truck that I just put in the bay here. Hey Ben, I was uh, wondering where you were tonight. I thought you, you ran away, man. If you want to take this truck out, Colleen, you can uh, go get those metal beams for the uh, port polar base supply. Thank you for sharing the stream, Ben. So it's called the Royal BM-17 once I get out of it. And then that is relatively close to you. You can jump in, Ben, if you want to. Thank you for liking the stream, Ben.
There. And then I'll go. Just park the Tuz off to the side of the road, though, before you jump out of it, if you can. Um. So that mission that I was looking at is in the... GR Enterprises, I think. Yeah, it's the first one in GR Enterprises. And it's the metal beams part. So I'm, I'm going to do the fuel part. I wish you could do the routes backwards and forwards. That'd be so much nicer. Boy, Ben, you sure missed a weird glitch. Like, holy crap. Pauline launched me right across the river when she was trying to tug me out of the, uh, like, trying to straighten me out. They kind of hit me onto a tree, and it just bounced me into the air. It was crazy. Probably make it a clip on my, uh, on my YouTube eventually here. That was like the weirdest, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen anyway. It's funny how much work that is for the trucks to pull the drills, eh? Launching myself. Right. So we gotta pick this crap up. 
How do you pick it up? <laughs> I guess you gotta get a trailer or something. You gotta do an order. Maybe I gotta get a fuel trailer or something. I don't know. Hmm. Liver to polar base. I want to see game, but I just want to. See if there's a certain thing I gotta do. We've got to do it in a certain order. I don't know. Weird. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to pick up the damn fuel for this. What else do we have for trucks here? Highway. White Western Star. Let's customize it. You can just jump in, you know. How come you're the only one that needs an invite? Even Colleen now uh, jumped right in. Get it, man.
I can hear you. Scream. We need a flat bed. I'm going to run for the bricks, I think. I don't know if I can haul four, though. This vehicle. Where are they, bricks? Crap, they're way up there. You got the metal beams there, Colleen? Yeah. Ben says how he's being a snob. I said Ben saying how he's being a snob. Where the bricks are right there. Well, where were you driving? <laughs> Jayish, thank you for liking the stream. So we're doing the polar base supply. So if you if you go to the screen with the the clipboard and then your GR Enterprise and then polar base supply. When you click it and you want to see what an item, you know, like say I'm looking for the bricks. It'll pull you where the bricks are. If I'm looking for the metal beams, it'll pull you where the metal beams are. So you were you were going for the metal beams. We need four loads of bricks. And bricks are one each. Yeah. So I think that the easiest route would be to go along here. It's the slowest one, though. No? Gonna go to fuel station to start here. I find that's the easiest way to figure out where things are. The only time is that that doesn't work is when you uh, are going for something off map. Uh, when you're in there, if you want to help grab bricks or something like that, Ben, you can do that. Why, thank you for the follow. Good day. What? 
Don't have all wheel drive on this car. Cover. How do you enable all wheel drive? It's under uh, the energy one. Just a sec. Me and Colleen did like a super hard mission. Just through 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 typing on the, like she just communicated through typing on the uh, chat. Ben's being lazy, Colleen, compared to you. He just he's using the voice. How do you get all-wheel drive on here though? And your box. Yeah, that will give me low gear. Oh, here's all-wheel drive. There we go. This truck's getting better now. If that's you, Ben, just follow me. to make sure that I had all-wheel drive because my car didn't have that. Let's see if Ben flips his car again on a hundred times. Who's going to get the next flip between Colleen, Ben, and me? driving it could be me you never know she's doing the polar base supply she's doing the metal beams part oh a little excited there
Oops, I clipped back in there. Oops, put the front end there. I've just been going down the main road. You can always look on the map where I am. Oh, here we go. So the brick mission has to be done. Oh, I got the fuel one apparently. So if you are doing the brick one, you need to get four bricks. You're gonna grab a trailer along the way and then you can get four. There's a trailer. If you're looking on my my screen, of course it just died. <laughs> you look on the main road on the way to where you gotta go to get the bricks. There's a trailer store about halfway. So you just kind of follow that big main road and then grab a trailer so, and so you can have an extra couple spaces and then get four loads of brick. Why is your phone always dead, Ben? Jeez. You should put an electrical plug in right by you so you can plug her in. You need one of them. What are your squares that you plug into to get yourself extra boost? Oh. Where do we got to deliver this? Oh. Where am I? Gotta go out here. Oh, really? Right. Um, my route is established. Ben's doing the bricks. Where's Colleen at now? DR Enterprise? Oh, 
Holy crap, why is Ginger way over there? How the heck did you get over there, Ginger? The metal beams are over here. It's just like... B, hey, thank you for the follow. It's like if you take a right and you follow the main road. Then it's like, uh, you just go into... Into this factory, I think, and grab the metal beams. And then you just drive it along here and back. And up here, where I am. I don't know how you wound up way up there. That's a weird spot to be. What are you driving, anyway? It's like a pile of cars there. International Paster. You're going for fuel. There's fuel over here too. Along the main road. If you ever wonder about that, um, one way to do it is go to this map part. And then you just scroll down and then you find the thing you're looking for um, and then you just click on it and it'll jump over to where they are right there the one you're at but either way if you want um, it might be faster I could jump that vehicle back Hey Robert. Um, I don't know. I think we're doing okay right now, but you're a greenhorn. If 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 you want to jump into another vehicle for a second, I can bring that one back to the garage, and then it'll probably be faster for you just to go among the along the main road. So if you um, if you jump out of that one, because that's the international. A star, right? That you're in. And then I can jump that one back to the main one, and then basically, uh, then you can just map for along that main road. It'd be easier, probably. Or no, it's a royal. The royal you're in, isn't it? Sorry, I was thinking it was the international A star. All right, let's get this one back. So I'll recover it. Thank you, Allie, for liking. Recover. Leave garage. And... I might as well grab the International Pay Star and recover that one, too. Ever. You're in your con now? Oh, you could jump back to the Royal again. I didn't know you were needed fuel. Uh, just maybe mention it if, if uh, you know, if that helps, because maybe I might have a, a good, good information for you or something. Uh, white Western Star, I think. Robert, thank you for the follow. The, and if you jump into that one, the BM one here, I would just go along this route here, the main road. There's a gas station here if you need it. Keep going along the main road. This is where the polar base is. If, if you look at my blue line, the polar base is there. That's the end after you grab the supplies. But the metal, the metal beams are in this 
spot here. So basically you drive drive along the main road and then you go into here into the metal beams and then you flip back and just follow this blue line right now that I have and it's going to be the end destination there. And remember if you ever want to look that up, just go to the mission and click on polar base supply and then you click on whichever one, metal beams, it'll point where it is. Bricks, that's what uh, Ben's going, or the base itself, it'll point where it is. That makes it a lot easier, I think. And if you ever want to find a particular location, like the garage or something, just go to this map screen. And then that, that'll hopefully get you, get you where you need. Jeff, thank you for the like. Yeah, it's kind of, this game takes a little getting used to, that's for sure. So. Um, you're probably ahead, ahead of where I was, you know, for the amount of time you played. Because, um, you've been watching people play it. So now that you, now you know that little tip. I think you'll you'll be kicking the butt of me by the time you get to the amount of playtime I have. I don't know what level am I anyway. Where does it say the level? Oh. Sessions played 17. Oh, I'm level 15. So Robert, that just joined the chat a, mi a few minutes ago, he's level 30. He's been playing the game a lot. Holy crap. The thing I'd like to know, though, is... Yeah, it just took me a bit to find it. Is you know how you have the map points here? I'd like to be able to adjust these ones easier, you know, like you can pick it up and move it, but it's so super slow. Is there easier ways to do that? It'd be nice if you could actually go backwards, too. Yeah, you should have seen Robert. Holy crap. We were doing the, uh, calling some drilling bit thing, and I was tipped over. Colleen was using the Tuz and pulling me to help me get, uh, straightened out. And we accidentally clipped into a tree, and it launched me across the entire river, man. It looked like I was in a hurricane, man. I, I thought I was going to Oz. getting this fuel we got probably between us we're like level 20 <laughs> for all three of us <laughs> yeah it's on Xbox Ben here, whose name in the game is Brash, um, he's an expert at getting his truck flipped upside down. So we're going to see out of me, Colleen, and him who flips her truck first today. I flipped it earlier before Ben was here, so that one doesn't count. Holy crap, there's a giant mud hole here, guys, when you get to here. So if you need any help when you get into that giant hole, 
taller, I guess. Grab this mission. Oh, I'm here. And over the garbage can. Another mission right here, too. Have that one after, I guess. You've gone flying a lot? Oh, really? I have a couple of interesting accents. If you ever want to see um, clips um, in the video description, there's uh, my YouTube. I made a couple of clips. Um, the first couple I made were a little bit long. But, you know, like me and me and uh, Howard, uh, this other guy that's in here, he, pretty regularly. Um, we had this one where we were doing the giant mission and, you know, where you haul that gi giant thing to the port in the first map and, uh, man, we were crossing that giant ravine and then, you know, for some reason it glitched and rolled him back into me and it knocked me off the bridge. What a recovery operation. That one was crazy. Does this have to be done in order? Like the bricks have to be here first or what? Where's the other place? Polar base supply. It might have to be done in order this one, eh? I got the thir third item. It says three out of two out of two. It's not letting me unload here. I don't know what the heck, eh? I guess you guys are on the way, though. Yellow cranes are the worst for poor connection. There we go. We'll just grab the nearby stuff here while we wait for those guys. Is the is that the case here, Robert? Am I right? I gotta wait for these guys. I'm like the third item on this list. So or no, I guess I just push down arrow and then That's weird. It forces you to <laughs> forces you to do that. Okay. See, we're noobs. You think it would just, you know, pick item you're delivering? What's going on, Ben? Oh, did you flip it? Oh, okay. I thought Ben flipped it. Maybe he didn't. He just... He just went wide on his turn. Do you know about this mission here? Is this bugged? Um... Where is it? Containers in the river. Because... I delivered one cargo container, but I don't see another one. Is it on another map, or do I gotta reset that bugger? Just take the Tuz and grab that. Boy, the Tuz, that was quite an adventure. I made a clip of that one, too. I was down to three liters of gas.
All right, where is that? Back in the mountain fuel station. Yeah, I delivered the fuel. You're doing the bricks, and Colleen's doing the the uh, beams. Fuck in the mountains. Where is that thing? Saw it a second ago. There. I gotta follow the main road. And probably It's still a long ways there. Go down here and then make a side track. Over here. Grab that mission. You're tracking the mission show. If not, you may have to restart it. Oh, well, that's lame. That one, not the uh, I got some weird glitches with the mission before. That there's one that uh, was Tim's farm or something. I had to redo that one like four times. I had to reset it over and over. Although I tell you this Tuz thing makes life easier for a lot of the missions. Well it's weird how you can't gas up the thing. Uh, fuel roof rack sometimes. Oh. All right. I'm gonna veer back and forth by accident. Go into mind my driving. All well, those guys bring their cargo in what part of the world are you from there Robert I'm in British Columbia. I'm excited. There's a Canada DLC coming eventually. It'll be awesome. <laughs> Although I got plenty to do in the main game. Um, Ben just asked me in my ear if, if it snows a lot. I live in a desert, Ben. In Canada believe it or not but uh, I mean we get some snow like definitely but Canada's kind of weird in some ways like there's some areas that are super snowy like two hours one way and then there's other areas a few hours the other way where they, they get rain all year so and then for me I get there's a, I'd say, f about seven good snowfalls. You know, like I got a little electric snow thrower. 
They already get massive trailer from the bottom of the map. I think so. Yeah. That was a bugger mission, that one. I think. Why, what's going on with Colleen? I didn't, she didn't say anything in chat, did she? Just gotta go up and get this one probably. I assume that's what that mission's about. This thing can drive through anything. There's another I gotta take the port? Oh great. I did one of them anyway, the port. Or I did two to port now, I think. Oh crap. Smoke rock there. There's one I took. Like from. Where's the port? Port? There's one. The one where I fell off a hill, or almost fell off the hill, and then got launched across the river. So, this one here. We drove one from here, and then we tried going straight the first time, and we had a little trouble, so she's trying to pull me there, and I wound up over here. And then, oh, the second's on another map. Oh, okay. And then there was another fairly decent size trailer we pulled too, but it wasn't as big as that. There's an intense mission in that first map that you took like two or three maps to get to it. You know, that one was tough. Where am I trying to go? There. Back in the mountains, eh? See if I can get to this even. Well, this thing can really go through it through the dirt. Start tracking that one just like deliver to the camp. Oh, somebody delivered something. Oh, nice, thanks. This guy. Pass. Look in the mountain. Got to drag it to the fuel station. Oh, okay, that's easy. If I go down the hill, the heck? Did, where was it trying to go there? No problem. -o. Oh. 
crap, this guy pushing me. There. I'm just doing one of the tasks real quick here. All delivered. If there's anything you can see that's easy to do in your area for a second, I'm just doing a quick task. I'll be done in a second, then I'll look over the missions. What? Join the party? Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if he enjoyed the song I made for him. It was Offspring. I saw Offspring live in concert, guys. Pretty good. I wonder if I'm dragging that thing upside down. Oh, it's still right side up. See, this is just like Ice Road Truckers or something. Doing the mission. I got the dramatic music. Will they make it down the hill? What a pickle he's in now. Will he hit the garbage can? Yes. There you go, everybody gets 1600 bucks. What do you do now? Your what? Oh, okay. Village delivery, cement. Discover Mountain River. Hey, we're going to Mountain River. Sweet. Got to deliver consumables and cement. Oh, that's locked still. The heck, why is it locked? Oh, you got to do down here. Oh, you're doing oil. No, that one's locked too. I guess because you need to unlock White Valley first or something. Oh, you're doing Fire in a Barrel? Oh, that's just, a, you could do that one solo. Which more is in Mining Want? Here's one we could do, Colleen, in uh, Morris and Mining. How do I activate all missions? Is it... Oh, I gotta accept it. Did I have to activate that other one you're working on? Start tracking that with already active. So if we go to Morrison Mining in the missions. Drilling supplies. Um, we need to bring a cargo container and medium pipes. Cargo container is not highlightable. Jared, thank you for the follow. Medium pipe is though. From the warehouse. Oh, here's the cargo container. And dock. We gotta run out to the dock. Man, too bad I picked up my truck. I 
That one's locked. Going for fuel first? Okay. If you want, you can, I mean, like, there's, where, where are you going for fuel? Are you going to the side one? Or are you going to the middle one? Is that you? If you're going to the middle fuel, then you can go to the, uh, over to the dock and grab the, uh, cargo container. Yeah, it started now. Where's my other truck at? Kind of in the middle, I think. Wait, Western Star. So which one are you going to, or which fueling one are you going to? Are you going to the middle one or are you going to the, the one on the far right? Just so I know where you're going. Because um, that way we're not doing the same one. Because you said okay and I kind of brought up both. So I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Far right, okay. So if I get in this one, I should be able to get a cargo container with it. So I just have to go. If I can cross there, must be able to. There, maybe. Upper corner. The map rotates, though. Um, so, what happened? Did you flip, Ben? Oh, okay. Not flipped yet, Colleen. Okay, so... If you're going to the... The one that's on the outer edge of the map... Then, uh... You could probably go to the warehouse, I guess. To, um... Oops. Which one was that? Horse and mining. Drilling supplies. Oh so yeah, you could probably go to that warehouse. You're playing with randoms? Oh, okay. Um So from where's Colleen at? So if you look where you are, Colleen. Um, once you go to that fuel station, if you flip around and follow the main road, the warehouse is kind of right at the end, mo end of the road here. If you look on my map. So, looks like you're headed to that fuel station, I I'm assuming. Then you just have to go up past the, uh, where you got the metal beams. And then just kind of go up along the road to one of these warehouses. Then I'll go for the one that's at the... At the thingamabopper here. Easier probably. If I go that way.
the rivers or something it looks like oh well if i get stuck if i get stuck if i get stuck or not there's an easy route to this port like there is where you're heading to the port Oh, is that the end, end of your mission? Oh, well, if the port is ending at the mission, why don't you just grab the cargo container from there? I won't even bother rooting over to there then. You got a flatbed though, right? Yeah, they'll just put a cargo container onto you. If you if, if you grab that mission because if you're going there anyway you might as well just take that one then I'll just uh, I'll jump back into the Taz and grab the um, other vehicle here where was that Ground Hummer is right there. You know, in the river can't do. up over here, eh? Oh, crap. What the heck? Was there explosives in the ground there? They really used some damage. I'm leaking. I guess we're repaired. What'd you say, Ben? Oh, you got stuck? I don't know what the heck I ran over there, but it sure did a lot of damage. I flattened half my tires, too. What the heck it was? I don't see anything there. I'm going to have to take the Tuz in for repairs after this. I can't even drive it straight because half of the tires are flat now. Pauline, when she plays her own game, she's going to be an expert now. You can be telling Howard how to play. Do I get a spare in this stupid thing? Um, spare. Of course. I don't have a spare. Crap. I gotta go in for repairs of this thing. I can't drive it straight. Recover. Leave garage. Let's see how to get where I want to go now.
Okay, with spare on roof. It didn't give me a choice to use the spare, though. And, like, for some reason, I, I don't know, there's nothing in front of there. But it just, like, ripped my gas tank off and... My suspension and everything, man. It was just, like, destroyed. Yeah, I couldn't flick between anything. Maybe it was oh crap. See, look at you. You did a lot of damage just hitting a stupid rail, eh? Recover again, then I don't have to worry about it. There we go. Man, that rail's tough, eh? You'd think I'd just crush that rail with this vehicle. Can't drive straight in the best of days, though. Yeah, still hit the stupid rail again. Guess I could have went to the right there. Well. We need to go to the wheels and hit A. Oh, okay. Oh, well, too late now. It's kind of in between here and there, so it's about 50 50 as far as which way is faster. I don't know what that gas station had up there. They, I think they had some landmines or something because, boy, that thing wrecked my vehicle. Okay, I'll just accidentally hump the tree. There we go. Yeah. Who wants to cross the bridge? Oh, it did damage. Not deep. I, uh, for one, one of the times I was playing it wasn't my Tuz, it was somebody else's Tuz, but I did that two mountain peak challenge, or whatever it is, where you drive to the top of the mountain, I drove the Tuz up there, and then I was, just to see if I could, I, I jumped off the edge to see how fast I can get to the bottom. There's hidden rocks if you off-road by the gas station. There's sharp rocks, apparently. I was right by the gas station though, it's right where you, that makes sense. Oh Ben, you scared me. What the heck's going on over there? You made me jump. Ben's like smashing crap in my ear. Now he's yelping in pain. Hey, Ben. Hmm. 
Maybe he's laughing. Hard to tell. Oh crap, there's a stupid pipeline here. I guess I'm not going that way. What the heck? Drive along it until I see a spot I can get under, maybe? Too low to me. Deliver the thing, Ben. Sound like you smashed something. trailer discovered go around on the drive on the rocks carefully yeah it's one of those underwater things again something finished Ben finished I guess so grab that Ben when you're there the mission is under Morrison Morrison mining drilling supplies and the one, the first, the cargo containers at that same spot where you are. Looks like Ginger has the other part under control. I'm walking on water here. Oh, oh, oh. Slow down. At the warehouse, if you go to Morrison Mining, and then, uh, so the warehouse, you want to get the medium pipes, right? That's where you are. And then once you've grabbed them, you go to the drilling site. So if you click on drilling site, it'll point out where it is. So it's kind of in the middle of the map there, so... You'd uh, wind up going probably whatever route you think is the easiest. Probably along the main road, I would imagine. As much as you can, and maybe in here. Like that. Your guess as good as mine in that case. There's uh, the armor. Man, how'd this guy get his car out here, eh? He must have been driving on the rocks, too. Where am I taking this thing, or do I just have to switch to it? What's that? To my garage. Let's take the mission, I guess. Turn you bugger.
Return to parking. Right over there, eh? Guess we're following the path along there. One down. There. Pull it alongside the pipeline here. Watch out for stumps. Out of deep snow. Lots of stumps too. A new vehicle. Does my co op partners get it automatically too? Burning engine. Only host. Oh, okay. The thing right side up still? Positive. Oh, wrong way. Crap. Abraham, thank you for liking the stream. Boy, what a pain in the butt before that I built that little path. Michael, thank you for liking the stream. We're towing Arnie's Hummer back. making slurping noises. God, thank you for the follow. Good day. Igor, thank you for liking the stream. No, just me. Hello, Igor. Pretty awesome. JD, thank you for the follow. Good day to you, too. While I'm out here, Sunny, thank you for the follow. Good day to you, too. Morning. Morning for Igor. Notice that. Alexis, 
Thank you for the follow. Good day. Welcome, everybody. All right. So, while I'm on the map, I saw an upgrade just like right here somewhere. What was that? There it is. Oh, that's not the way. Does everybody get the upgrade? They should, eh? A rip off if they don't. Brazil, nice. Look at this tank thing I got, man. No stopping me unless you drive in front of a gas station. In which case, it really messes up your vehicle. Like you run over. They don't want you to run over their flowers or something because there's spikes underneath the flowers. Destroy everything under your underbody. Alright. Nighttime again. Often nighttime in this game, you guys. If you're ever playing co op, get used to the dark. <laughs> in uh, daytime, you can jump forward, or single player, you can. Single player, you can advance time, but you can't on co op. Although, you know, honestly. When you're up this far north, it should be nighttime a lot. I would think anyway. That's pretty far north. The last is up there. All vehicles are hosting most time they. Or for a host, but most time they both go both ways. Igor, thank you for the follow. Upgrade wise, oh okay. I heard there's a good upgrade for the Tuz somewhere in Alaska. On one of the maps anyway. What's this one? That one is for one place, flight liner. Freight liner. All right. Check on what's going on here. You got that stuff from the mission there Ben horse and mining under control cargo container and pipes let's see where Colleen is over there she must already have the pipes she looks like she's heading towards the center like watching little matchbox cars man We'll get there first. You guys are relatively the same distance away from the center. And the next concrete blocks and consumables. Oh, White Valley. Let's see if we can get to that one. Mountain delivery. Deliver oil barrels. Is the Azov your vehicle? Just recover this one, I think.
Whoa, halfway there. Buzz is out. Royal is being used. Con is. Pauline's Azov's is Ben's. Okay. We'll get this one. Oh, wait, I want to see if I have a great liner. Top right might be blocked. Oh. Oh, we need customize. I need to go probably to a flatbed again. Heck, what do I gotta pay for this? Weird. I had a flatbed before for this truck. Well, I guess I gotta pay for it again. Patero, er, a Jew, thank you for the follow. Good day. Okay, so we gotta go. We go there. Mahesh, thank you for liking the stream. Easier to go through the bush or just along the pipe pipeline there. There's a kind of a road there. Thank you for liking the stream. Oh, it's not a road there. It's a uh, the bush. Looks like Ginger might win that race. Great time. How surprising. Anybody is new, thank you for being here. Anybody is not new, thank you for being here also. What do you like better? Like, I got chains on my tires here, and on the truck I was just driving before, I didn't have chains, it just had off road tires. Do you find that you prefer certain tires for this map?
I don't know if there's a noticeable difference between having chain, the chains or the off-roads though. They look feel about the same to me. I got a turn there. Paint tires are best for. Is this considered an ice road? It seems like a muck. Muck road with snow on it. Me. Oh. I wonder why I have to rebuy my little flatbed. Weird. Maybe you only have so many different types of beds for it. You didn't, oops. You got the wrong pipe from the wrong warehouse. Uh oh. How do you know it's the wrong pipe? It had more than one warehouse available or listed though. Been there? Huh, I didn't know that could happen. I won't offload. Well, you can always release your cargo or whatever. You just press the up on the D-pad. Or remove cargo or whatever it's called. And go get the other pipe, I guess. Kind of a pain for you. Sorry about that. I still haven't seen the wolf or anything. It seems like a bad idea at night. left on the last lobby you're in. Uh-oh. in the water I'm stuck hey Colleen are you still right here at the warehouse oh you're done okay where's your vehicle at oh you guys are right by me somebody can go uh, somebody can drive out here and um 
Edward, thank you for the follow. Give me something to leverage off of. I might be able to get out. We'll see. Thanks for playing, Colleen. You're grabbing the pipes? Okay. No, I'm 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 good. I got I figured my way out. What? Is this you? I need oil barrels. Oops. Is I can't use this because you're in it, you're using it or what? Like you're in this. Oh, that's not you. Okay. Oh, that was you. Oh, okay. If anyone needs... Oh, okay. Gator Tello. International Pay Star. How can I use this? Cargo management. Oh, okay. I couldn't do the other one because, uh, I should have left that other truck there. No trailers nearby, is there? Did Colleen just throw the pipe in the river? There's a large pipe in the river. What kind of trailer is over here? You know, there's a ten thousand dollar fine in real life when you dump things in the river. <laughs> Is this the trailer I was looking at? Like a fuel trailer?
<laughs> you did great. That's right. You're pretty good. Got the other missions in. Dump the pipe in the river. So if we ever need a large pipe, we know where to get one. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh crap, way over there. I'm gonna go drive by Colleen's pipe. That's then the new name for that area. bad I don't have a trailer nearby man because I could if I left that other vehicle I might have been able to actually just grab a trailer oh you're going to the drilling site right so no but I mean you're coming back to the drilling site after that so you can always grab two more oils at that point. I'll start the first two. Kind of trailers this one. Might disappear when you restart. Oh, that's true. Pauline's pipe will just be a memory at that point. Right. Let's see what Mountain River looks like. All gassed up. We could have stacked a couple more on top of this. this hey you guys built these drilling things I think didn't you that's an oil hauling in the bush eh through that these oil barrels look kind of dirty Like spilling a bit. Yeah. 
Did you flip? Oh. Ben, Ben's been holding out on the flipping guys here. Manorengen, thank you for liking the stream. Good day, everybody. Mahesh, thank you for the follow. Good day to you. Thank you so much. Look at that, eh? We're getting somewhere. Delivering the oil. I think those giant trailer deliveries are like boss battles in this game. Because <laughs> those things are brutal. Oh, wrong way. I gotta pick this one up. I don't know if I picked it up yet. Back just in case. No. Well, we hope it stays there, though, Colleen, because we named that that area Colleen's Pipe. Because <laughs> that's hilarious. Not that he did anything bad, just that it was just because the pipe was there. You know, we're not going to get no environmental ticket here. It'd just be like the commercial on one of those reality shows. It'd be like, oh, we got a pickle. There's a giant pipe in the water. Cats called you away. I right, put your vehicle back. Did you recall your your Jeep and stuff too? Make sure that you stored them. The con. Hey, what all this traffic here? You got the big trucks. I do all of my moving, like everything, like I I do everything on SnowRunner on stream. So odds are it'll be some Saturday. So you you followed, so you'll even see me go live. See what I'm doing. I know one thing about uh, streaming it, I guess you get to everyone gets to see your mistake or your success. <laughs> There's some doozies of accidents we've had. Although today's been pretty relatively smooth, I think.
Me, we had, me and Colleen had that that really weird, her toss me across the river. Incident. I mean that that's kind of funny. I mean that's just a weird glitch though. Other than that, it's been relatively smooth. We had a good smooth straight run right after that though. Accidents are the best. It does make it interesting, doesn't it? Lokesh, thank you for liking the stream. All right. Hopefully this doesn't screw up uh, good old Ben here because he, last time, last week, every time I hit one of these towers, it kicked everybody off of the server. Well, that's pretty exciting music, this, this going around here. Where am I bringing this stuff? Service hub. I think it's up there over here. Accidents are the best part. Oh, what do we got here? Fabian, thank you for the follow. Good day. Detail. Concrete slabs we're going to need. Fix that bridge. Good to know. You know, all this stuff is broken. There's crap broken everywhere. <clears throat> right? The bridges are broken. But all these guardrails are in perfect shape. And, you know, I can't run over them with a tank. So, what's up with that? The map you're on is where the giant yellow cat and massive trailer is located. Oh. I hear the cat's a good vehicle. Doo doo. Where I gotta go? We go, we're halfway done. Bring the pipes to the thing. Nice. Is there a gas station around here somewhere? I'll screw you up though. If I go and get these mat or these towers, you know, it might screw you up. around a bit though oh you sold it there's a guy that I play with named Black Falcon and he just loves the cat like what he uses the most I think I assume it's the same cat I don't know If there's more than one or not, but I know he says he likes a cat. Oh crap! What the heck? Giant hole. There's a gas station here. You know, it's awesome. The gas is free everywhere here.
Good thing I didn't run over the landmines in front of the fuel station. Oh. We got something over here. Look at this. Another stupid broken pipe in the way here. Going over here. Could have been the chance to deliver that thing anyway. Exactly, am I going here? Probably across this river. Hopefully, it's not too deep. Oop. Found the rock. The heck? What's this? This is what ran over this flag. What's this flag doing here? Hey, I can get through here. They have a pipeline going through my city. It's underground though. Is that where I came from? Well, let's go that way, I guess. Hey, Colleen. Thanks for playing. Thanks for modding. I stream every day there, Ben. I didn't understand a word you said, Ben. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thanks. Sometimes I have trouble with Ben's accent. He doesn't have a Canadian accent, you know. He, he's from the UK. Checking out the area while we wait for Ben's delivery. Over here. Is 
like lots of stuff you can go to, eh? Keep on the main road, though. There's some sort of lumber yard. In case we need wood. Looks like that goes to White Valley up there. Where's these towers at? Eh? They kind of look for broken bridge over there. The north port. Looks like there's a gateway up here. Anybody new, hit that follow, like, that share. It's all appreciated. Alright, so I found the exit to another land. Like, if I go to the right, though, that, that uh, might lead me to a tower or something. Did we undercover? Did I go in there? This doesn't matter. Pretty nice roads up here, actually. So, Joe Ginder, thank you for liking the stream. What's that? Oh, nice. Ben just got an achievement, everybody. The motel up here. That must be the motel. Go. I think if we go here and then go down, I can. How close are you to the tower? Or how close are you ready to the, to the lever? Oh, okay. Can't understand you when you mumble, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, if you if you mumble at all, I just can't tell with your accent. Um, it's just I'm not that used to hearing it, you know. All right, you're close though, right? I'm not going to go near that tower quite yet. I don't want to bump you out.
Let's check out the global map. Oh, that's not the one I want. Global map. I guess Northport is where Ben is. Oh yeah, he's pretty close. Why are you in low gear? Oh. I'm close enough to the uh, tower, I can hear them cranking their tunes because everybody in SnowRunner worlds belts out the tunes, man. They all stay inside, crank their tunes. How'd you come up with your gamer tag name, Ben? Crash Abyss. just generate automatically oh well, thank you for liking the stream there we go drilling site is built I'm gonna drive into this thing and see if it knocks you out Ben It'll be interesting I just didn't want to do it while you're just about completed the mission. That would have sucked. Watchtower opened. It kicked you out, eh? Well, crap, eh? Oh well. What can you do? Good thing I waited, eh? I was literally parked in front of it. <laughs> It, it kicked him out. He's gone. It's hilarious. All right. Yeah, we got the we got several missions in. There's a trailer store by me. Upgrade. Gas stations, watchtowers, and. Warehouses. That warehouse might have some uh, cement. Upgrade. They gave away a lot of stuff, eh? It was happening like every time. Like when I went to get that Tuz, it kicked everybody out. It was like crazy because it was two maps deep too, which sucked. But what can you do? All right, so I'm gonna just uh, turn off my truck for now, and I'm going to go to the global map. Oh, X global map. This one. Grab the Tuz. I will bring the Tuz back in. I'll leave that one out there for now. Yeah, no, it's been it was pretty consistently kicking Ben out. But he's from the UK, so maybe it just doesn't want no UK guys in the game when I look at the towers. <laughs> Good logic, eh? Alright, so this guy can cover. There we go. Ben likes UK jokes, you know. But we're a Commonwealth country here in Canada, so you know we get along with the UK. We got the Queen on our money. Did you know that, Ben? That the Queen's on the Canada money. Oh, you didn't know. Well, there you go. Now you know. In 1982. The Queen actually signed 
No, was it? Yeah, it was 82, I think. The Queen actually came to Canada and signed off um, the last governance thing that they can't change their constitution. It was actually pretty recent where we're kind of fully independent, but, uh, you know, we still have the Queen on our money. So. But I think that's late enough, you know, it's 3, 3 a.m., 3.12 for me. So, that seems like a good point to, uh, we just finished that one mission, that was pretty awesome. Um, if you haven't followed yet, please do so. Even if you're watching the video afterwards, uh, please follow, share, and like. And exclamation notify will alert you when I go live. I typically go live at 7 p.m. Pacific time. In the video description, I have the socials. Uh, so, like, stuff like Twitter and and Twitch. Well, I, I know I don't have Twitch there. Twitter and Instagram, Discord, that kind of stuff. YouTube, I put little clips on there. I put a couple new ones today. I'll put another one up right after this. And, uh... And then I'll put a couple new ones tomorrow as well because I got to finish editing some more. Um, there should be one uploaded though and ready to ready to go live. And uh, and of course, uh, you know, feel free to follow that or sub to that. But it's nice having you guys here. Nice chatting with you, Robert. Thank you for the advice, Colleen. Thank you for that modding earlier. If you're watching the video after. Um, thank you for playing Ben. Thank you anybody else who just watched and relaxed. It's cool. And uh we'll hopefully see you guys all soon again. I play different games all the time. No runners typically Saturday, sometimes more. Watch that Twitter. And uh tomorrow will be civilization. So uh I'll be starting a new game because I finished uh, Ethiopia last time. Thanks again, everybody. I don't know if anybody's up, but it might it might host somebody. We'll see.